The Romance languages also called Romanic languages or Neo-Latin languages are the modern languages that evolved from Vulgar Latin between the 3rd and 8th centuries and that form a subgroup of the Italic languages within the Indo-European language family. Today, around 800 million people are native speakers worldwide, mainly in Europe, Africa, and the Americas, but also elsewhere. Additionally, the major Romance languages have many non-native speakers and are in widespread use as lingua francas. This is especially the case for French, which is in widespread use throughout Central and West Africa, Madagascar, Mauritius, and the Maghreb. The five most widely spoken Romance languages by number of native speakers are Spanish 470 million, Portuguese 250 million, French 150 million, Italian 90 million, and Romanian 25 million. .Because of the difficulty of imposing boundaries on a continuum, various counts of the modern Romance languages are given, for example, Dalby lists 26 based on mutual intelligibility, Ibero Romance, Spanish, Portuguese Galician, Astor Leonese, Aragonese, Judeo Spanish, Occitano Romance, Catalan, Occitan, Gascon, Gallo Romance, French, Franco Provençal, Rato Romance, Romanche, Leiden, Friulian, Gallo Italic, Emilian Romagnol, Lombard, Piedmontese, Ligurian, Italo Dalmatian, Italian, Sicilian Neapolitan, Tuscan Corsican, Venetian, Dalmatian Istriate Sardinian Eastern Romance, Romanian, Aramanian, Istro-Romanian Origins Romance languages are the continuation of Vulgar Latin, the popular and colloquial sociolect of Latin spoken by soldiers, settlers, and merchants of the Roman Empire, as distinguished from the classical form of the language spoken by the Roman upper classes, the form in which the language was generally written. Between 350 BC and 150 AD, the expansion of the empire, together with its administrative and educational policies, made Latin the dominant native language in continental Western Europe. Latin also exerted a strong influence in southeastern Britain, the Roman province of Africa, western Germany, Pannonia and the whole Balkans. During the empire's decline, and after its fragmentation and the collapse of western half in the 5th and 6th centuries, the spoken varieties of Latin became more isolated from each other, with the western dialects coming under heavy Germanic influence the Goths and Franks in particular and the eastern dialects coming under Slavic influence. The dialects diverged from Classical Latin at an accelerated rate and eventually evolved into a continuum of recognizably different topologies. The colonial empires established by Portugal, Spain, and France from the 15th century onward spread their languages to the other continents to such an extent that about two-thirds of all Romance language speakers today live outside Europe. Despite other influences e.g. substratum from pre-Roman languages, especially continental Celtic languages, and superstratum from later Germanic or Slavic invasions, the phonology, morphology, and lexicon of all Romance languages consist mainly of evolved forms of Vulgar Latin. However, some notable differences occur between today's Romance languages and their Roman ancestor. With only one or two exceptions, Romance languages have lost the declension system of Latin and, as a result, have SVO sentence structure and make extensive use of prepositions. Name The term Romance comes from the Vulgar Latin adverb Romanis, in Roman, derived from Romanicus, for instance, in the expression Romanis loqui to speak in Roman, that is, the Latin vernacular, contrasted with Latin loqui, to speak in Latin, medieval Latin, the conservative version of the language used in writing and formal contexts or as a lingua franca, and with barbaris loqui, to speak in barbarian, the non-Latin languages of the peoples living outside the Roman Empire. From this adverb the noun romance originated, which applied initially to anything written Romanis, or, in the Roman vernacular, the word. Romance, with the modern sense of romance novel or love affair has the same origin. In the medieval literature of Western Europe, serious writing was usually in Latin, while popular tales, often focusing on heroic adventures and courtly love, were composed in the vernacular and came to be called romances. Samples <laughs> 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 
lexical and grammatical similarities among the Romance languages, and between Latin and each of them, are apparent from the following examples having the same meaning in various Romance lects. English, she always closes the window before she dines, before dining. Romance-based creoles and pigeons Some of the divergence comes from semantic change, where the same root word has developed different meanings. For example, the Portuguese word fresta is descended from Latin finestra, window, and is thus cognate to French fenetra, Italian finestra, Romanian feristra and so on, but now means skylight and slit. Cognates may exist but have become rare, such as finiestra in Spanish, or dropped out of use entirely. The Spanish and Portuguese terms defenestrar meaning to throw through a window, and fenestrado meaning replete with windows also have the same root, but are later borrowings from Latin. Likewise, Portuguese also has the word sear, a cognate of Italian cenar and Spanish cenar, but uses it in the sense of to have a late supper in most varieties, while the preferred word for to dine is janter, related to archaic Spanish yanter, to eat, because of semantic changes in the 19th century. Galician has both fiestra from medieval fiestra, the ancestor of standard Portuguese fresta and the less frequently used venta and zanella. As an alternative to lei originally the genitive form, Italian has the pronoun ella, a cognate of the other words for she, but it is hardly ever used in speaking. Spanish, Asturian, and Leonese ventana and mirandis and Sardinian bentana come from Latin ventus, wind, cf, English window, etymologically. Wind I, and Portuguese janela, Galician zanela, Mirandese janela from Latin asterisk ianuela, small opening, a derivative of janua, door. Sardinian balcone, alternative for ventana, bentana, comes from Old Italian and is similar to other Romance languages such as French balcone from Italian balcone, Portuguese balcão, Romanian balcone, Spanish balcone, Catalan balco, and Corsican balconi, alternative for pertalu. History Topic. Topic. Vulgar Latin Topic. Documentary evidence is limited about Vulgar Latin for the purposes of comprehensive research, and the literature is often hard to interpret or generalize. Many of its speakers were soldiers, slaves, displaced peoples, and forced resettlers, more likely to be natives of conquered lands than natives of Rome. In Western Europe, Latin gradually replaced Celtic and Italic languages, which were related to it by a shared Indo-European origin. Commonalities in syntax and vocabulary facilitated the adoption of Latin. Vulgar Latin is believed to have already had most of the features shared by all Romance languages, which distinguish them from Classical Latin, such as the almost complete loss of the Latin grammatical case system and its replacement by prepositions, the loss of the neuter grammatical gender and comparative inflections, replacement of some verb paradigms by innovations e.g. the synthetic future gave way to an originally analytic strategy now typically formed by infinitive plus evolved present indicative forms of have, the use of articles, and the initial stages of the palatalization of the plosives, k, per gram, and t. To some scholars, this suggests the form of Vulgar Latin that evolved into the Romance languages was around during the time of the Roman Empire from the end of the 1st century BC, and was spoken alongside the written Classical Latin which was reserved for official and formal occasions. Other scholars argue that the distinctions are more rightly viewed as indicative of sociolinguistic and register differences normally found within any language. Both were mutually intelligible as one and the same language, which was true until very approximately the second half of the 7th century. However, within 200 years Latin became a dead language since the Romanized people of Europe could no longer understand texts that were read aloud or recited to them i.e. Latin had ceased to be a first language and became a foreign language that had to be learned, if the label Latin is constrained to refer to a state of the language frozen in past time and restricted to linguistic features for the most part typical of higher registers. With the rise of the Roman Empire, Vulgar Latin spread first throughout Italy and then through southern, western, central, and southeast Europe, and northern Africa along parts of western Asia. Topic. Fall of the Western Roman Empire 
During the political decline of the Western Roman Empire in the 5th century, there were large-scale migrations into the empire, and the Latin-speaking world was fragmented into several independent states. Central Europe and the Balkans were occupied by Germanic and Slavic tribes, as well as by Huns. These incursions isolated the Vlachs from the rest of Romance-speaking Europe. British and African Romance the forms of Vulgar Latin used in southeastern Britain and the Roman province of Africa, where it had been spoken by much of the urban population, disappeared in the Middle Ages, as did Pannonian Romance in what is now Hungary, and Moselle Romance in Germany. But the Germanic tribes that had penetrated Roman Italy, Gaul, and Hispania eventually adopted Latin, Romance and the remnants of the culture of ancient Rome alongside existing inhabitants of those regions, and so Latin remained the dominant language there. In part due to regional dialects of the Latin language and local environments, several languages evolved from it. Topic. Fall of the Eastern Roman Empire Topic. Meanwhile, large-scale migrations into the Eastern Roman Empire started with the Goths and continued with Huns, Avars, Bulgars, Slavs, Pechenegs, Hungarians and Cumans. The invasions of Slavs were the most thoroughgoing, and they partially reduced the Romanic element in the Balkans. The invasion of the Turks and conquest of Constantinople in 1453 marked the end of the empire. The Slavs named the Romance-speaking population Vlachs, while the latter called themselves Rumen or Roman, from the Latin Romanus. The daco roman dialect became fully distinct from the three dialects spoken south of the Danube, Macedo Romanian, Istro Romanian, and Megleno Romanian during the 9th and 10th centuries, when the Romanians sometimes called Vlachs or Wallachians emerged as a people. <laughs> Early Romance Over the course of the 4th to 8th centuries, local changes in phonology, morphology, syntax, and lexicon accumulated to the point that the speech of any locale was noticeably different from another. In principle, differences between any two lects increased the more they were separated geographically, reducing easy mutual intelligibility between speakers of distant communities. Clear evidence of some levels of change is found in the Reichenau Glosses, an 8th-century compilation of about 1,200 words from the 4th-century Vulgate of Jerome that had changed in phonological form or were no longer normally used, along with their 8th-century equivalents in Proto-Franco-Provençal. The following are some examples with reflexes in several modern Romance languages for comparison. In all of the above examples, the words appearing in the 4th century Vulgate are the same words as would have been used in classical Latin of c. 50 BC. It is likely that some of these words had already disappeared from casual speech by the time of the glosses, but if so, they may well have been still widely understood, as there is no recorded evidence that the common people of the time had difficulty understanding the language. By the 8th century, the situation was very different. During the late 8th century, Charlemagne, holding that Latin of his age was by classical standards intolerably corrupt, successfully imposed classical Latin as an artificial written vernacular for Western Europe. Unfortunately, this meant that parishioners could no longer understand the sermons of their priests, forcing the Council of Tours in 813 to issue an edict that priests needed to translate their speeches into the Rustica Romana lingua, an explicit acknowledgement of the reality of the Romance languages as separate languages from Latin. By this time, and possibly as early as the 6th century according to Price 1984, the Romance Lex had split apart enough to be able to speak of separate Gallo-Romance, Ibero-Romance, Italo-Romance and Eastern Romance languages. Some researchers have postulated that the major divergences in the spoken dialects began or accelerated considerably in the 5th century, as the formerly widespread and efficient communication networks of the Western Roman Empire rapidly broke down, leading to the total disappearance of the Western Roman Empire by the end of the century. The critical period between the 5th-10th centuries AD is poorly documented because little or no writing from the chaotic, dark ages of the 5th-8th centuries has survived, and writing after that time was in consciously classicized medieval Latin, with vernacular writing only beginning in earnest in the 11th or 12th centuries. An exception such as the Oaths of Strasbourg is evidence that by the 9th century effective communication with a non-learned audience was carried out in evolved romance. 
A language that was closely related to medieval Romanian was spoken during the Dark Ages by Vlachs in the Balkans, Herzegovina, Dalmatia, Morlix, Ukraine, Hutzels, Poland, Gorals, Slovakia, and Czech Moravia, but gradually these communities lost their maternal language. Topic: <laughs> Recognition of the vernaculars. Topic: between the 10th and 13th centuries, some local vernaculars developed a written form and began to supplant Latin in many of its roles. In some countries, such as Portugal, this transition was expedited by force of law, whereas in others, such as Italy, many prominent poets and writers used the vernacular of their own accord, some of the most famous in Italy being Giacomo da Lentini and Dante Alighieri. Well before that, the vernacular was also used for practical purposes, such as the testimonies in the Placiti Cassinesi, written 960–963. <laughs> Uniformization and standardization the invention of the printing press brought a tendency towards greater uniformity of standard languages within political boundaries, at the expense of other Romance languages and dialects less favored politically. In France, for instance, the dialect spoken in the region of Paris gradually spread to the entire country, and the Occitan of the South lost ground. <laughs> Modern status the Romance language most widely spoken natively today is Spanish Castilian, followed by Portuguese, French, Italian and Romanian, which together cover a vast territory in Europe and beyond, and work as official and national languages in dozens of countries. French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Romanian are also official languages of the European Union. Spanish, Portuguese, French, Italian, Romanian, and Catalan are the official languages of the Latin Union, and French and Spanish are two of the six official languages of the United Nations. Outside Europe, French, Portuguese and Spanish are spoken and enjoy official status in various countries that emerged from the respective colonial empires. Spanish is an official language in nine countries of South America, home to about half that continent's population, in six countries of Central America all except Belize, and in Mexico. In the Caribbean, it is official in Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico. In all these countries, Latin American Spanish is the vernacular language of the majority of the population, giving Spanish the most native speakers of any Romance language. In Africa it is an official language of Equatorial Guinea. Portuguese, in its original homeland, Portugal, is spoken by virtually the entire population of 10 million. As the official language of Brazil, it is spoken by more than 200 million people in that country, as well as by neighboring residents of eastern Paraguay and northern Uruguay, accounting for a little more than half the population of South America. It is the official language of six African countries Angola, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, Equatorial Guinea, and São Tomé and Príncipe, and is spoken as a first language by perhaps 30 million residents of that continent. In Asia, Portuguese is co-official with other languages in East Timor and Macau, while most Portuguese speakers in Asia—some 400,000—are in Japan due to return immigration of Japanese Brazilians. In North America one million people speak Portuguese as their home language. In Oceania, Portuguese is the second most spoken Romance language, after French, due mainly to the number of speakers in East Timor. Its closest relative, Galician, has official status in the autonomous community of Galicia in Spain, together with Spanish. Outside Europe, French is spoken natively most in the Canadian province of Quebec, and in parts of New Brunswick and Ontario. Canada is officially bilingual, with French and English being the official languages. In parts of the Caribbean, such as Haiti, French has official status, but most people speak Creoles such as Haitian Creole as their native language. French also has official status in much of Africa, but relatively few native speakers. In France's overseas possessions, native use of French is increasing. Although Italy also had some colonial possessions before World War II, its language did not remain official after the end of the colonial domination. As a result, Italian outside of Italy and Switzerland is now spoken only as a minority language by immigrant communities in North and South America and Australia. In some former Italian colonies in Africa—namely Libya, Eritrea and Somalia—it is spoken by a few educated people in commerce and government. 
Romania did not establish a colonial empire, but beyond its native territory in southeastern Europe, the Romanian language is spoken as a minority language by autochthonous populations in Serbia, Bulgaria, and Hungary, and in some parts of the former Greater Romania before 1945, as well as in Ukraine Bukovina, Budjak, and in some villages between the Dniester and Bug rivers. The Aramanian language is spoken today by Aramanians in Bulgaria, Macedonia, Albania, Kosovo, and Greece. Romanian also spread to other countries on the Mediterranean especially the other Romance-speaking countries, most notably Italy and Spain, and elsewhere such as Israel, where it is the native language of 5% of the population, and is spoken by many more as a secondary language. This is due to the large number of Romanian-born Jews who moved to Israel after World War II. And finally, some 2.6 million people in the former Soviet Republic of Moldova speak a variety of Romanian, called variously Moldovan or Romanian by them. The total native speakers of Romance languages are divided as follows with their ranking within the languages of the world in brackets Spanish 49% second Portuguese 26% sixth French 8.6% 18th Italian 7.7% 23rd Romanian 3.0% 49th Catalan 0.9% not in the top 100 Others 3.6% Catalan is the official language of Andorra In Spain it is co-official with Spanish Castilian in Catalonia the Valencian community and the Balearic Islands and it is recognized but not official in La Franja and in Aragon in addition, it is spoken by many residents of Alguero, on the island of Sardinia, and it is co-official in that city. Galician, with more than a million native speakers, is official together with Spanish in Galicia, and has legal recognition in neighboring territories in Castilla y León. A few other languages have official recognition on a regional or otherwise limited level, for instance, Asturian and Aragonese in Spain, Mirandese in Portugal, Friulan, Sardinian and Franco-Provençal in Italy, and Romanche in Switzerland. The remaining Romance languages survive mostly as spoken languages for informal contact. National governments have historically viewed linguistic diversity as an economic, administrative or military liability, as well as a potential source of separatist movements, therefore, they have generally fought to eliminate it, by extensively promoting the use of the official language, restricting the use of the other languages in the media, recognizing them as mere dialects, or even persecuting them. As a result, all of these languages are considered endangered to varying degrees according to the UNESCO Red Book of Endangered Languages, ranging from vulnerable, e.g. Sicilian and Venetian, to severely endangered, Arpitan, most of the Occitan varieties. Since the late 20th and early 21st centuries, increased sensitivity to the rights of minorities has allowed some of these languages to start recovering their prestige and lost rights. Yet it is unclear whether these political changes will be enough to reverse the decline of minority Romance languages. Classification and related languages Topic. The classification of the Romance languages is inherently difficult, because most of the linguistic area is a dialect continuum, and in some cases political biases can come into play. Along with Latin which is not included among the Romance languages and a few extinct languages of ancient Italy, they make up the Italic branch of the Indo-European family. Topic. Proposed divisions Topic. There are various schemes used to subdivide the Romance languages. Three of the most common schemes are as follows Italo-Western versus Eastern versus Southern. This is the scheme followed by Ethnologue, and is based primarily on the outcome of the ten monophthong vowels in Classical Latin. This is discussed more below. West versus East this scheme divides the various languages along the La Spezia Rimini line, which runs across north central Italy just to the north of the city of Florence, whose speech forms the basis of standard Italian. In this scheme, East includes the languages of central and southern Italy, and the Balkan Romance or Eastern Romance languages in Romania, Greece, and elsewhere in the Balkans. West includes the languages of Portugal, Spain, France, northern Italy, and Switzerland. Sardinian does not easily fit in this scheme. Conservative versus innovatory. 
This is a non-genetic division whose precise boundaries are subject to debate. Generally, the Gallo-Romance languages discussed further below form the core innovatory languages, with Standard French generally considered the most innovatory of all, while the languages near the periphery which include Spanish, Portuguese, Italian and Romanian are conservative. Sardinian is generally acknowledged the most conservative Romance language, and was also the first language to split off genetically from the rest, possibly as early as the 1st century BC. Dante famously denigrated the Sardinians for the conservativeness of their speech, remarking that they imitate Latin, like monkeys imitate men. <laughs> Italo-Western versus Eastern versus Sardinian the main subfamilies that have been proposed by ethnologue within the various classification schemes for Romance languages are Italo-Western, the largest group, which includes languages such as Catalan, Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, and French. Eastern Romance, which includes the Romance languages of Eastern Europe, such as Romanian. Southern Romance, which includes a few languages with particularly archaic features, such as Sardinian and, partially, Corsican. This family is thought to have included the now vanished Romance languages of Africa, or at least, they appear to have evolved their vowels in the same way. This controversial three way division is made primarily based on the outcome of Vulgar Latin vowels. Italo Western is in turn split along the so called La Spezia Rimini line in northern Italy, which divides the central and southern Italian languages from the so called Western Romance languages to the north and west. The primary characteristics dividing the two are Phonemic lenition of intervocalic stops, which happens to the northwest but not to the southeast. Degemination of geminate stops producing new intervocalic single voiceless stops, after the old ones were lenited, which again happens to the northwest but not to the southeast. Deletion of intertonic vowels between the stressed syllable and either the first or last syllable, again in the northwest but not the southeast. Use of plurals in s in the northwest versus plurals using vowel change in the southeast. Development of palatalized k before e, i, to, t, s in the northwest versus in the southeast. Development of per not, which develops to xt greater than it, sometimes progressing further to in the northwest but tt in the southeast. In fact, the reality is somewhat more complex. All of the southeast. Characteristics apply to all languages southeast of the line, and all of the northwest characteristics apply to all languages in France and most of Spain. However, the Gallo-Italic languages are somewhere in between. All of these languages do have the northwest characteristics of lenition and loss of gemination. However, the Gallo-Italic languages have vowel-changing plurals rather than s plurals. The Lombard language in north central Italy and the Rato Romance languages have the southeast characteristic of instead of t s for palatalized k. The Venetian language in northeast Italy and some of the Rato Romance languages have the southeast characteristic of developing per not to tt. Lenition of post vocalic ptk is widespread as an allophonic phonetic realization in Italy below the La Spezia Rimini line, including Corsica and most of Sardinia. On top of this, the ancient Mozarabic language in southern Spain, at the far end of the northwest group, had the southeast characteristics of lack of lenition and palatalization of k to. Certain languages around the Pyrenees e.g. some highland Aragonese dialects also lack lenition, and northern French dialects such as Norman and Picard have palatalization of k, to, although this is possibly an independent, secondary development, since, k, between vowels, i.e. when subject to lenition, developed to, dz, rather than, d, as would be expected for a primary development. The usual solution to these issues is to create various nested subgroups. Western Romance is split into the Gallo-Iberian languages, in which lenition happens and which include nearly all the Western Romance languages, and the Pyrenean Mozarabic group, which includes the remaining languages without lenition and is unlikely to be a valid clade, probably at least two clades, one for Mozarabic and one for Pyrenean. Gallo-Iberian is split in turn into the Iberian languages e.g. Spanish and Portuguese, and the larger Gallo-Romance languages stretching from eastern Spain to northeast Italy. 
Probably a more accurate description, however, would be to say that there was a focal point of innovation located in central France, from which a series of innovations spread out as aerial changes. The La Spezia Rimini line represents the farthest point to the southeast that these innovations reached, corresponding to the northern chain of the Apennine Mountains, which cuts straight across northern Italy and forms a major geographic barrier to further language spread. This would explain why some of the northwest features almost all of which can be characterized as innovations end at differing points in northern Italy, and why some of the languages in geographically remote parts of Spain in the south, and high in the Pyrenees are lacking some of these features. It also explains why the languages in France especially Standard French seem to have innovated earlier and more completely than other Western Romance languages. Many of the southeast features also apply to the Eastern Romance languages particularly, Romanian, despite the geographic discontinuity. Examples are lack of lenition, maintenance of intertonic vowels, use of vowel-changing plurals, and palatalization of k, to Gemination is missing, which may be an independent development, and per not, develops into pt, rather than either of the normal Italo Western developments. This has led some researchers to postulate a basic two way east west division, with the eastern languages including Romanian and Central and Southern Italian. Despite being the first Romance language to evolve from Vulgar Latin, Sardinian does not fit well at all into this sort of division. It is clear that Sardinian became linguistically independent from the remainder of the Romance languages at an extremely early date, possibly already by the 1st century BC. Sardinian contains a large number of archaic features, including total lack of palatalization of k, and per gram, and a large amount of vocabulary preserved nowhere else, including some items already archaic by the time of Classical Latin 1st century BC. Sardinian has plurals in s, but post vocalic lenition of voiceless consonants is normally limited to the status of an allophonic rule, e.g., k and dog, but su g an or su an the dog, and there are a few innovations unseen elsewhere, such as a change of o to a. Use of su salted article, while Sardinian shares delabialization of earlier kw and gw with Romanian sard abba rum appa water sard limba rom limba language cf Italian aqua lingua. Topic Gallo Romance languages Topic Gallo Romance can be divided into the following subgroups: the Longs de Oil, including French and closely related languages. The Franco-Provençal language also known as Arpitan of southeastern France, western Switzerland, and Aosta Valley region of northwestern Italy. The following groups are also sometimes considered part of Gallo-Romance, the Occitano-Romance languages of southern France namely, Occitan and Gascon. The Catalan language of eastern Iberia is also sometimes included in Gallo-Romance. This is however disputed by some linguists who prefer to group it with Iberian Romance, since although Old Catalan is close to Old Occitan, it later adjusted its lexicon to some degree to align with Spanish. In general however, modern Catalan, especially grammatically, remains closer to modern Occitan than to either Spanish or Portuguese. The Gallo-Italian languages of northern Italy, including Piedmontese, Ligurian, Western Lombard, Eastern Lombard, Emilian and Romagnol. Ligurian and Eastern Lombard retain the final O, being the exception in Gallo-Romance. The Rado romance languages, including Romanche, and Friulian, and Leiden dialects, the Gallo-Romance languages are generally considered the most innovative least conservative among the Romance languages. Characteristic Gallo-Romance features generally developed earliest and appear in their most extreme manifestation in the Long de Oil, gradually spreading out along riverways and transalpine roads. In some ways, however, the Gallo-Romance languages are conservative. The older stages of many of the languages preserved a two-case system consisting of nominative and oblique, fully marked on nouns, adjectives and determiners, inherited almost directly from the Latin nominative and accusative and preserving a number of different declensional classes and irregular forms. The languages closest to the oil epicenter preserve the case system the best, while languages at the periphery lose it early. Notable characteristics of the Gallo-Romance languages are Early loss of unstressed final vowels other than a a defining characteristic of the group. Further reductions of final vowels in long de oil and many Gallo-Italic languages, with the feminine a uh, and prop vowel e merging into which is often subsequently dropped. Early, heavy reduction of unstressed vowels in the interior of a word another defining characteristic. 
Loss of final vowels phomicized the long vowels that used to be automatic concomitants of stressed open syllables. These phonemic long vowels are maintained directly in many northern Italian dialects. Elsewhere, phonemic length was lost, but in the meantime, many of the long vowels diphthongized, resulting in a maintenance of the original distinction. The long de oil branch is again at the forefront of innovation, with no less than five of the seven long vowels diphthongizing, only high vowels were spared. Front rounded vowels are present in all four branches. U, usually fronts to, Y, and secondary mid-front rounded vowels often develop from long, O, OR. Extreme lenition i.e. multiple rounds of lenition occurs in many languages especially in long de oil and many Gallo-Italian languages. The long de oil, Swiss Rado Romance languages and many of the northern dialects of Occitan have a secondary palatalization of, K, and, before, a, producing different results from the primary Romance palatalization, e.g. centum. Hundred greater than cent s cantum song greater than chant. Other than the Occitano Romance languages, most Gallo Romance languages are subject obligatory, whereas all the rest of the Romance languages are pro drop languages. This is a late development triggered by progressive phonetic erosion. Old French was still a null subject language, and this only changed upon loss of secondarily final consonants in Middle French. Topic. Pigeons, creoles, and mixed languages Topic. Some Romance languages have developed varieties which seem dramatically restructured as to their grammars or to be mixtures with other languages. It is not always clear whether they should be classified as Romance, Pigeons, Creole languages, or mixed languages. Some other languages, such as Modern English, are sometimes thought of as creoles of semi-Romance ancestry. There are several dozens of creoles of French, Spanish, and Portuguese origin, some of them spoken as national languages in former European colonies. Creoles of French Antillian, French Antilles, Saint Lucia, Dominica Haitian, one of Haiti's two official languages Louisiana, US Mauritian, lingua franca of Mauritius Réunion, native language of Réunion Seychellois, Seychelles official language, creoles of Spanish. Chavacano in part of Philippines. Palenquero in part of Colombia, creoles of Portuguese. Angolar, regional language in São Tomé and Príncipe. Cape Verdean, Cape Verde's national language, includes several distinct languages. Foro, regional language in São Tomé and Príncipe. Cristing, Malaysia. Macanese, Macau. Papiamento, Dutch Antilles official language. Upper Guinea, Guinea-Bissau's national language. Topic: Auxiliary and constructed languages. Topic: Latin and the Romance languages have also served as the inspiration and basis of numerous auxiliary and constructed languages, so-called neo-romantic languages. The concept was first developed in 1903 by Italian mathematician Giuseppe Pino, under the title Latino sine flexione. He wanted to create a naturalistic international language, as opposed to an autonomous constructed language like Esperanto or Volapük, which were designed for maximal simplicity of lexicon and derivation of words. Pino used Latin as the base of his language, because at the time of his flourishing it was the de facto international language of scientific communication. Other languages developed since include idiom neutral, occidental, lingua franca nova, and most famously and successfully, interlingua. Each of these languages has attempted to varying degrees to achieve a pseudo-Latin vocabulary as common as possible to living Romance languages. There are also languages created for artistic purposes only, such as Talosan. Because Latin is a very well-attested ancient language, some amateur linguists have even constructed Romance languages that mirror real languages that developed from other ancestral languages. These include Brythonig, which mirrors Welsh, Brythonach, mirrors Irish, Wenedic, mirrors Polish, or Jotrun, mirrors Icelandic, and Helvetian, mirrors German. Topic: <laughs> Linguistic features. Topic. Topic. Basic features Topic. 
Romance languages have a number of shared features across all languages. Romance languages are moderately inflecting, i.e. there is a moderately complex system of affixes primarily suffixes that are attached to words to convey grammatical information such as number, gender, person, tense, etc. Verbs have much more inflection than nouns. The amount of synthesis is significantly more than English, but less than classical Latin and much less than the oldest Indo-European languages e.g. Ancient Greek, Sanskrit. Inflection is fusional, with a single affix representing multiple features as contrasted with agglutinative languages such as Turkish or Japanese. For example, Portuguese amei, I loved, is composed of am, love, and the fusional suffix a, first person singular preterite indicative. Romance languages have a primarily subject verb object word order, with varying degrees of flexibility from one language to another. Constructions are predominantly of the head first right branching type. Adjectives, genitives and relative clauses all tend to follow their head noun, although except in Romanian, determiners usually precede. In general, nouns, adjectives and determiners inflect only according to grammatical gender, masculine or feminine, and grammatical number, singular or plural. Grammatical case is marked only on pronouns, as in English, case marking, as in English, is of the nominative accusative type rather than e.g. the ergative absolutive marking of Basque or the split ergativity of Hindi. A significant exception, however, is Romanian, with two case marking nominative, accusative versus genitive, dative on nominal elements. Verbs are inflected according to a complex morphology that marks person, number singular or plural, tense, mood indicative, subjunctive, imperative, and sometimes aspect or gender. Grammatical voice active, passive, middle, reflexive and some grammatical aspects in particular, the perfect aspect are expressed using periphrastic constructions, as in the Italian present perfect passato prossimo I ho amato, I ho sono stato amato. I have loved, I have been loved. Most Romance languages are null subject languages but modern French is not, as a result of the phonetic decay of verb endings. All Romance languages have two articles definite and indefinite, and many have in addition a partitive article expressing the concept of some. In some languages notably, French, the use of an article with a noun is nearly obligatory, it serves to express grammatical number no longer marked on most nouns and to cope with the extreme homophony of French vocabulary as a result of extensive sound reductions. The phonemic inventory of most Romance languages is of moderate size with few unusual phonemes. Phonemic vowel length is uncommon. Some languages have developed nasal vowels and or front-rounded vowels. Word accent is of the stress dynamic type, rather than making use of pitch as in ancient Greek and some modern Slavic languages. Stress occurs more or less predictably on one of the last three syllables. Topic. Changes from Classical Latin Topic. Loss of the case system the most significant changes between classical Latin and Proto-Romance and hence all the modern Romance languages relate to the reduction or loss of the Latin case system and the corresponding syntactic changes that were triggered the case system was drastically reduced from the vigorous 6 case system of Latin Although four cases can be constructed for Proto-Romance nouns nominative, accusative, combined genitive, dative, and vocative, the vocative is marginal and present only in Romanian where it may be an outright innovation, and of the remaining cases, no more than two are present in any one language. Romanian is the only modern Romance language with case marking on nouns, with a two-way opposition between nominative, accusative and genitive, dative. Some of the older Gallo-Romance languages in particular, Old French, Old Occitan, Old Sir Silvan and Old Friulian, and in traces Old Catalan and Old Venetian had an opposition between nominative and general oblique, and in Ibero-Romance languages, such as Spanish and Portuguese, as well as in Italian see under case, a couple of examples are found which preserve the old nominative. As in English, case is preserved better on pronouns. Concomitant with the loss of cases, freedom of word order was greatly reduced. Classical Latin had a generally verb final SOV, but overall quite free word order, with a significant amount of word scrambling and mixing of left branching and right branching constructions. The Romance languages eliminated word scrambling and nearly all left branching constructions, with most languages developing a rigid SVO, right branching syntax. 
Old French, however, had a freer word order due to the two-case system still present, as well as a predominantly verb second word order developed under the influence of the Germanic languages. Some freedom, however, is allowed in the placement of adjectives relative to their head noun. In addition, some languages e.g. Spanish, Romanian have an accusative preposition. Romanian pay, Spanish, personal a, along with clitic doubling, which allows for some freedom in ordering the arguments of a verb. The Romance languages developed grammatical articles where Latin had none. Articles are often introduced around the time a robust case system falls apart in order to disambiguate the remaining case markers which are usually too ambiguous by themselves and to serve as parsing clues that signal the presence of a noun a function that used to be preserved by the case endings themselves. This was the pattern followed by the Romance languages, in the Romance languages that still preserved a functioning nominal case system e.g., Romanian and Old French, only the combination of article and case ending serves to uniquely identify number and case compare the similar situation in modern German. All Romance languages have a definite article originally developed from IPSE, self, but replaced in nearly all languages by IL, that, over there. And an indefinite article developed from unis one. Many also have a partitive article de of plus definite article. Latin had a large number of syntactic constructions expressed through infinitives, participles, and similar nominal constructs. Examples are the ablative absolute, the accusative plus infinitive construction used for reported speech, gerundive constructions, and the common use of reduced relative clauses expressed through participles. All of these are replaced in the Romance languages by subordinate clauses expressed with finite verbs, making the Romance languages much more verbal and less nominal than Latin. Under the influence of the Balkan Sprachbund, Romanian has progressed the furthest, largely eliminating the infinitive. It is being revived, however, due to the increasing influence of other Romance languages, other change slots of phonemic vowel length, and change into a free stressed language. Classical Latin had an automatically determined stress on the second or third syllable from the end, conditioned by vowel length. Once vowel length was neutralized, stress was no longer predictable so long as it remained where it was, which it mostly did. Development of a series of palatal consonants as a result of palatalization. Loss of most traces of the neuter gender. Development of a series of analytic perfect tenses, comparable to English. I have done, I had done, I will have done. Loss of the Latin synthetic passive voice, replaced by an analytic construction comparable to English. It is, was done. Loss of deponent verbs, replaced by active voice verbs. Replacement of the Latin future tense with a new tense formed usually by a periphrasis of infinitive plus present tense of haber, have, which usually contracts into a new synthetic tense. A corresponding conditional tense is formed in the same way but using one of the past tense forms of haber. Numerous lexical changes. A number of words were borrowed from the Germanic languages and Celtic languages. Many basic nouns and verbs, especially those that were short or had irregular morphology, were replaced by longer derived forms with regular morphology. Throughout the medieval period, words were borrowed from classical Latin in their original form learned words or in something approaching the original form semi-learned words, often replacing the popular forms of the same words. Topic. Phonology Topic. Topic. Vowels Topic. Every language has a different set of vowels from every other. Common characteristics are as follows Most languages have at least five monophthongs, a e i o u, the parent language of most of the Italo Western Romance languages, which includes the vast majority, actually had a seven vowel system, a e i o u, which is kept in most Italo Western languages. In some languages, like Spanish and Romanian, the phonemic status and difference between open mid and close mid vowels was lost. French has probably the largest inventory of monophthongs, with conservative varieties having 12 oral vowels, a, e, i, o, u, o, o, y, and four nasal vowels. European Portuguese also has a large inventory, with nine oral monophthongs, a, e, i, o, u, five nasal monophthongs, e, i, o, u, and a large number of oral and nasal diphthongs. See below. The phonemic status of 
is somewhat doubtful, however, and neither phoneme exists in Brazilian Portuguese. Some languages have a large inventory of falling diphthongs. These may or may not be considered as phonemic units rather than sequences of vowel plus glide or vowel plus vowel, depending on their behavior. As an example, French, Spanish and Italian have occasional instances of putative falling diphthongs formed from a vowel plus a non-syllabic, I, or, U, e.g. Spanish vinta bejn, te, 20, duda, dua, det, French pie, pj, straw, cochouch, ca tu, rubber, Italian pote, potege, I could, but these are normally analyzed as sequences of vowel and glide. The diphthongs in Romanian, Portuguese, Catalan and Occitan, however, have various properties suggesting that they are better analyzed as unit phonemes. Portuguese, for example, has the diphthongs a j j j e j j o j u j a e u i w ao, where ao, and to a lesser extent, e j, appear only in some dialects. All except a uh, with appear frequently in verb or noun inflections. Portuguese also has nasal diphthongs. See below. Among the major Romance languages, Portuguese and French have nasal vowel phonemes, stemming from nasalization before a nasal consonant followed by loss of the consonant this occurred especially when the nasal consonant was not directly followed by a vowel. Originally, vowels in both languages were nasalized before all nasal consonants, but have subsequently become denasalized before nasal consonants that still remain except in Brazilian Portuguese, where the pre-nasal vowels in words such as comma, bed, menos, less, remain highly nasalized. In Portuguese, nasal vowels are sometimes analyzed as phonemic sequences of oral vowels plus an underlying nasal consonant, but such an analysis is difficult in French because of the existence of minimal pairs such as bon, b, good, mask, bon, bien, good, femme. In both languages, there are fewer nasal than oral vowels. Nasalization triggered vowel lowering in French, producing the four nasal vowels, although most speakers in France nowadays pronounce, as Vowel raising was triggered in Portuguese, however, producing the five nasal vowels, e i o u. Vowel contraction and other changes also resulted in the Portuguese nasal diphthongs, w, ao, j, edge, oge, uge, of which, uge, occurs in only two words, muito per meter uge, too, much, many, very, and mui per meter uge, very, and edge, ao, are actually final syllable allophones of, e o. Most languages have fewer vowels in unstressed syllables than stressed syllables. This again reflects the Italo-Western Romance parent language, which had a seven-vowel system in stressed syllables as described above but only, a-e-i-o-u, with no low-mid vowels in unstressed syllables. Some languages have seen further reductions, e.g. Standard Catalan has only, i-u, in unstressed syllables. In French, on the other hand, any vowel may take prosodic stress. Most languages have even fewer vowels in word final unstressed syllables than elsewhere. For example, Old Italian allowed only aeio, while the early stages of most Western Romance languages allowed only aeo. The Gallo Romance languages went even farther, deleting all final vowels except a. Of these languages, French has carried things to the extreme by deleting all vowels after the accented syllable and uniformly accenting the final syllable except for a more or less non-phonemic final unstressed that occasionally appears. Modern Spanish now allows final unstressed iu and modern Italian allows final unstressed u, but they tend to occur largely in borrowed or onomatopoeic words, e.g. guru guru, taxi taxi, Spanish tribu tribe and espiritu spirit. Loanwords from classical Latin, Italian babau boogeyman, onomatopoeic cf. English boo. The apparent Spanish exception casi almost originates from Latin quasi as if. If phonemic vowel length is uncommon Vulgar Latin lost the phonemic vowel length of Classical Latin and replaced it with a non-phonemic length system where stressed vowels in open syllables were long, and all other vowels were short. Standard Italian still maintains this system, and it was rephonemicized in the Gallo-Romance languages including the Rato-Romance languages as a result of the deletion of many final vowels. Some Northern Italian languages e.g. Friulan still maintain this secondary phonemic length, but in most languages the new long vowels were either diphthongized or shortened again, in the process eliminating phonemic length. 
French is again the odd man out, although it followed a normal Gallo Romance path by diphthongizing five of the seven long vowels and shortening the remaining two. It phomicized a third vowel length system around 1300 AD in syllables that had been closed with an s, still marked with a circumflex accent, and now is phomicizing a fourth system as a result of lengthening before final voiced fricatives. In modern spoken and literary Romanian, Slavic influences are evident in phonetics and morphology. Phonetic slavicisms include the iotation of the initial e in words such as l, ea, este pronounced gel, ya, jest compare Spanish, l, ella, estamos, without the Slavic iotation effect. Topic consonants Topic Most Romance languages have similar sets of consonants. The following is a combined table of the consonants of the five major Romance languages French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, Romanian. Key, bold, appears in all five languages. Italic, appears in three to four languages. Parentheses, appears in two languages, double parentheses, appears in only one language. Notable changes, Spanish has no phonemic voiced fricatives however, beta, occur as allophones of, bd, after a vowel and after certain consonants. The equivalent of, v, merged with, b, and all the rest became voiceless. It also lost, which became, x, or, h, in some other dialects. The Western languages French, Spanish, Portuguese all used to have the affricates, ts, d, z, d. By the 14th century or so, these all turned into fricatives except for Spanish and dialectal Portuguese. Spanish, ts, ended up becoming, theta, at least in northern and central Spain. Elsewhere, it merged with, s, as in the other languages. Romanian, dz, likewise became, z. French, and most varieties of Spanish, have lost, which merged with, j. Romanian merged both and into j. Romanian was influenced by Slavic phonology, mostly the palatalization of consonants in the plural form, for example pom pomi and lup lupi, pronounced pom and lup, and changing of l to r. For instance, Latin schola, scola greater than Slav, scola scola greater than modern Romanian scuola, co al school. Most instances of most of the sounds below that occur or used to occur, as described above, in all of the languages are cognate. However, although all of the languages have or used to have, almost none of these sounds are cognate between pairs of languages. The only real exception is many between Italian and Romanian, stemming from Latin C before E or I. Italian also has from Vulgar Latin Psi, and from Thai following a consonant elsewhere, Ts. Former French is from Latin C before A, either word initial or following a consonant, Spanish is from Latin CT, or from place, CL following a consonant, former Portuguese, is from Latin place, CL, FL, either word initial or following a consonant. Italian and former Romanian, DZ, from some instances of vulgar Latin die are not cognate with former Western, DZ, from lenition of, TS. Topic lexical stress Topic Word stress was rigorously predictable in classical Latin except in a very few exceptional cases, either on the penultimate syllable second from last or antepenultimate syllable third from last, according to the syllable weight of the penultimate syllable. Stress in the Romance languages mostly remains on the same syllable as in Latin, but various sound changes have made it no longer so predictable. Minimal pairs distinguished only by stress exist in some languages, e.g. Italian papa pa dot pa pope versus papa pa pa daddy or Spanish limite li mi te a limit present subjunctive limite li mi te that i he limit and preterite limite li mi te i limited erosion of unstressed syllables following the stress has caused most Spanish and Portuguese words to have either penultimate or ultimate stress e.g. Latin tredesan 13 greater than Spanish trece, Portuguese tres, Latin amare to love greater than Spanish, Portuguese amar. Most words with antepenultimate stress are learned borrowings from Latin, e.g. Spanish, Portuguese fabrica factory the corresponding inherited word is Spanish fragua, Portuguese fragua forge. This process has gone even farther in French, with deletion of all post-stressed vowels, leading to consistent, predictable stress on the last syllable, e.g. Latin Stephanum Stephen, greater than Old French Estievna, French Etienne, E, Tjane, Latin Juvenis Young, greater than Old French Juvena, French Jeune, Owen. This applies even to borrowings, e.g. Latin Fabrica, French borrowing Fabrique, F.A., Bic, the inherited word in this case being monosyllabic forge.
Other than French with consistent final stress, the position of the stressed syllable generally falls on one of the last three syllables. Exceptions may be caused by clitics or in Italian certain verb endings, e.g. Italian telefonano no, they telephone. Spanish entregandamelo n t a n dot do dot me dot l o delivering it to me. Italian metamasine me t ya mo dot t e dot n e. Let's put some of it in there. Portuguese devamo vo lo da v mu dot vu dot l u. We were giving it to you. Stress on verbs is almost completely predictable in Spanish and Portuguese, but less so in Italian. Topic. Nominal morphology Topic. Nouns, adjectives, and pronouns can be marked for gender, number and case. Adjectives and pronouns must agree in all features with the noun they are bound to. Topic. Number Topic. The Romance languages inherited from Latin two grammatical numbers, singular and plural. The only trace of a dual number comes from Latin ambo greater than Spanish and Portuguese ambos, Old Romanian imbi greater than Romanian ambi, Old French ambi, Italian ambedu, entrambi. Topic. Gender Topic. Most Romance languages have two grammatical genders, masculine and feminine. The gender of animate nouns is generally natural i.e. nouns referring to men are generally masculine, and vice versa, but for nonanimate nouns it is arbitrary. Although Latin had a third gender neuter, there is little trace of this in most languages. The biggest exception is Romanian, where there is a productive class of neuter. Nouns, which include the descendants of many Latin neuter nouns and which behave like masculines in the singular and feminines in the plural, both in the endings used and in the agreement of adjectives and pronouns, e.g., un degat, one finger, versus dua degat, two fingers, cf. Latin digitus, place, digiti. Such nouns arose because of the identity of the Latin neuter singular um with the masculine singular, and the identity of the Latin neuter plural a with the feminine singular. A similar class exists in Italian, although it is no longer productive, e.g. il dito, the finger, versus la dita, the fingers, la uovo, the egg, versus la uova, the eggs. A similar phenomenon may be observed in Albanian, which is heavily romance influenced, and the category remains highly productive with a number of new words loaned or coined in the neuter nye, hotel one hotel m versus tri hotel three hotels f. A few isolated nouns in Latin had different genders in the singular and plural, but this was an unrelated phenomenon. This is similarly the case with a few French nouns, such as amour, delice, org. Spanish also has vestiges of the neuter in the demonstrative adjectives, esto, eso, aquello, the pronoun elo meaning it, and the article lo used to intensify adjectives. Portuguese also has neuter demonstrative adjectives, isto, iso, aquilo, meaning this near me, this that near you, that far from the both of us. Remnants of the neuter, interpretable now as a sub-class of the non-feminine gender, Haas 2000-233, are vigorous in Italy in an area running roughly from Ancona to Matera and just north of Rome to Naples. Oppositions with masculine typically have been recategorized, so that neuter signifies the referent in general, while masculine indicates a more specific instance, with the distinction marked by the definite article. In Southeast Umbrian, for example, neuter low pain is the bread while masculine lu pain refers to an individual piece or loaf of bread. Similarly, neuter lo vinu is wine in general, while masculine lu vinu is a specific sort of wine, with the consequence that mas lo vinu has no plural counterpart, but lu vinu can take a sortal plural form li vini, referring to different types of wine. Phonological forms of articles vary by locale. Topic. Case Topic. Latin had an extensive case system, where all nouns were declined in six cases nominative, vocative, accusative, dative, genitive, and ablative and two numbers. Many adjectives were additionally declined in three genders, leading to a theoretical 6 times 2 times 3 equals 36 endings per adjective although this was never the case in practice. 
In practice, some category combinations had identical endings to other combinations, but a basic adjective like bonus good still had 14 distinct endings. In all Romance languages, this system was drastically reduced. In most modern Romance languages, in fact, case is no longer marked at all on nouns, adjectives and determiners, and most forms are derived from the Latin accusative case. Much like English, however, case has survived somewhat better on pronouns. Most pronouns have distinct nominative, accusative, genitive and possessive forms cf. English. I, me, mine, my. Many also have a separate dative form, a disjunctive form used after prepositions, and in some languages, a special form used with the preposition con, with, a conservative feature inherited from Latin forms such as mecum, tecum, nobiscum. The system of inflectional classes is also drastically reduced. The basic system is most clearly indicated in Spanish, where there are only three classes, corresponding to the first, second and third declensions in Latin, plural in as feminine, plural in os masculine, plural in s either masculine or feminine. The singular endings exactly track the plural, except the singular e is dropped after certain consonants. The same system underlines many other modern Romance languages, such as Portuguese, French and Catalan. In these languages, however, further sound changes have resulted in various irregularities. In Portuguese, for example, loss of l and n between vowels with nasalization in the latter case produces various irregular plurals: nacau, nacos, nations, hotel, hoteis, hotels. In French and Catalan, loss of o and e in most unstressed final syllables has caused the os and s classes to merge. In French, merger of remaining e with final a into and its subsequent loss has completely obscured the original Romance system, and loss of final s has caused most nouns to have identical pronunciation in singular and plural, although they are still marked differently in spelling, e.g., femme, femmes, woman, women, both pronounced fam. Noun inflection has survived in Romanian somewhat better than elsewhere. Determiners are still marked for two cases nominative, accusative and genitive, dative in both singular and plural, and feminine singular nouns have separate endings for the two cases. In addition, there is a separate vocative case, enriched with native development and Slavic borrowings see some examples here and the combination of noun with a following clitic definite article produces a separate set of definite inflections for nouns. The inflectional classes of Latin have also survived more in Romanian than elsewhere, e.g. om, omeni, man, men, Latin homo, homens, corp, corpuri, body, bodies, Latin corpus, corpora, many other exceptional forms, however, are due to later sound changes or analogy, e.g. casa case, houses, versus luna luni, moons, freight, frati, brothers, versus cart, carti, books, versus veil, vi. Valleys. In Italian, the situation is somewhere in between Spanish and Romanian. There are no case endings and relatively few classes, as in Spanish, but noun endings are generally formed with vowels instead of s, as in Romanian, amico, amici, friends, mask, amica, amici, friends, femme, cane, cani, dogs. The masculine plural amici is thought to reflect the Latin nominative plural i rather than accusative plural os Spanish os, however, the other plurals are thought to stem from special developments of Latin as an s. A different type of noun inflection survived into the medieval period in a number of Western Romance languages Old French, Old Occitan, and the older forms of a number of Rado Romance languages. This inflection distinguished nominative from oblique, grouping the accusative case with the oblique, rather than with the nominative as in Romanian. The oblique case in these languages generally inherits from the Latin accusative, as a result, masculine nouns have distinct endings in the two cases while most feminine nouns do not. A number of different inflectional classes are still represented at this stage. For example, the difference in the nominative case between masculine li voisans, the neighbor, and li per the father, and feminine la rians, the thing, versus la fame, the woman, faithfully reflects the corresponding Latin inflectional differences visinus versus pater, femina versus res. 
A number of synchronically quite irregular differences between nominative and oblique reflect direct inheritances of Latin third declension nouns with two different stems one for the nominative singular, one for all other forms, most with of which had a stress shift between nominative and the other forms, li ber, la baron, baron baro baronum, la suer, la serer sister, soror, sororum, li prester, le prevoir priest, presbyter, presbyterum, li sire, le seigneur lord, senior, seniorum, li enfas, l'enfant child, infants, infantum, a few of these multi-stem nouns derive from Latin forms without stress shift, e.g. li om, le ome man, homo hominem. All of these multi-stem nouns refer to people, other nouns with stress shift in Latin e.g. amor, amorum love, have not survived. Some of the same nouns with multiple stems in Old French or Old Occitan have come down in Italian in the nominative rather than the accusative e.g. uomo man, wife. The modern situation in Sir Silvan, one of the Rado Romance languages, is unique in that the original nominative oblique distinction has been reinterpreted as a predicative attributive distinction. Il hotel ej vous nationalisez. The hotel has been nationalized. Il hotel nationalisez. The nationalized hotel. Topic pronouns. Determiner's topic is described above. Case marking on pronouns is much more extensive than for nouns. Determiners e.g. words such as a, the, this are also marked for case in Romanian. Most Romance languages have the following sets of pronouns and determiners, personal pronouns, in three persons and two genders. A reflexive pronoun, used when the object is the same as the subject. This approximately corresponds to English self, but separate forms exist only in the third person, with no number marking. Definite and indefinite articles, and in some languages, a partitive article that expresses the concept of some. A two-way or three-way distinction among demonstratives. Many languages have a three-way distinction of distance near me, near you, near him which, though not paralleled in current English, used to be present as this, that, yon. Relative pronouns and interrogatives, with the same forms used for both similar to English who and which. Various indefinite pronouns and determiners, e.g., Spanish algún, some, alguien, someone, algo, something, ningún, no, nadie, no one, todo, every, cada, each, mucho, much, many, a lot, poco, few, little, otro, other, another, etc. Topic: Personal pronouns. Topic. Unlike in English, a separate neuter personal pronoun, it, generally does not exist, but the third person singular and plural both distinguish masculine from feminine. Also, as described above, case is marked on pronouns even though it is not usually on nouns, similar to English. As in English, there are forms for nominative case subject pronouns, oblique case object pronouns, and genitive case possessive pronouns. In addition, third-person pronouns distinguish accusative and dative. There is also an additional set of possessive determiners, distinct from the genitive case of the personal pronoun. This corresponds to the English difference between my, your, and mine, yours. Topic. Development from Latin Topic. The Romance languages do not retain the Latin third-person personal pronouns, but have innovated a separate set of third-person pronouns by borrowing the demonstrative ill, that over there, and creating a separate reinforced demonstrative by attaching a variant of ecce, behold, or here is, to the pronoun. Similarly, in place of the genitive of the Latin pronouns, most Romance languages adopted the reflexive possessive, which then serves indifferently as both reflexive and non-reflexive possessive. Note that the reflexive, and hence the third-person possessive, is unmarked for the gender of the person being referred to. Hence, although gendered possessive forms do exist, e.g. Portuguese seu mask versus sua fem, these refer to the gender of the object possessed, not the possessor. The gender of the possessor needs to be made clear by a collocation such as French la voiture à lui, l, Portuguese o caro dele, dela, literally, the car of him, her. In spoken Brazilian Portuguese, these collocations are the usual way of expressing the third person possessive, since the former possessive seu caro now has the meaning, your car. 
The same demonstrative ill was borrowed to create the definite article see below, which explains the similarity in form between personal pronoun and definite article. When the two are different, it is usually because of differing degrees of phonetic reduction. Generally, the personal pronoun is unreduced beyond normal sound change, while the article has suffered various amounts of reduction, e.g. Spanish ella she the fem topic clitic pronouns topic object pronouns in Latin were normal words but in the Romance languages they have become clitic forms which must stand adjacent to a verb and merge phonologically with it originally object pronouns could come either before or after the verb sound change would often produce different forms in these two cases with numerous additional complications and contracted forms when multiple clitic pronouns co-occurred Catalan still largely maintains this system with a highly complex clitic pronoun system. Most languages, however, have simplified this system by undoing some of the clitic mergers and requiring clitics to stand in a particular position relative to the verb usually after imperatives, before other finite forms, and either before or after non-finite forms depending on the language. When a pronoun cannot serve as a clitic, a separate disjunctive form is used. These result from dative object pronouns pronounced with stress which causes them to develop differently from the equivalent unstressed pronouns, or from subject pronouns. Most Romance languages are null subject languages. The subject pronouns are used only for emphasis and take the stress, and as a result are not clitics. In French, however, as in Friulian and in some Gallo-Italian languages of northern Italy, verbal agreement marking has degraded to the point that subject pronouns have become mandatory, and have turned into clitics. These forms cannot be stressed, so for emphasis the disjunctive pronouns must be used in combination with the clitic subject forms. Friulian and the Gallo-Italian languages have actually gone further than this and merged the subject pronouns onto the verb as a new type of verb agreement marking, which must be present even when there is a subject noun phrase. Some non-standard varieties of French treat disjunctive pronouns as arguments and clitic pronouns as agreement markers. Topic familiar formal distinction topic In medieval times, most Romance languages developed a distinction between familiar and polite second-person pronouns a so-called TV distinction, similar to the former English distinction between familiar thou and polite you. This distinction was determined by the relationship between the speakers. As in English, this generally developed by appropriating the plural second-person pronoun to serve in addition as a polite singular. French is still at this stage, with familiar singular tu versus formal or plural vu. In cases like this, the pronoun requires plural agreement in all cases whenever a single affix marks both person and number as in verb agreement endings and object and possessive pronouns, but singular agreement elsewhere where appropriate e.g. vu meme yourself versus vu memes yourselves. Many languages, however, innovated further in developing an even more polite pronoun, generally composed of a noun phrase e.g. Portuguese vossa merce your mercy, progressively reduced to vossa mese, vosmus and finally voce and taking third-person singular agreement. A plural equivalent was created at the same time or soon after Portuguese vossas merces, reduced to voces, taking third-person plural agreement. Spanish innovated similarly, with usted s from earlier vuestras merced s. In Portuguese and Spanish as in other languages with similar forms, the extra polite forms in time came to be the normal polite forms, and the former polite or plural second person vos was displaced to a familiar form, either becoming a familiar plural as in European Spanish or a familiar singular as in many varieties of Latin American Spanish. In the latter case, it either competes with the original familiar singular to as in Guatemala, displaces it entirely as in Argentina, or is itself displaced as in Mexico, except in Chiapas. In the Spanish of the Americas, the gap created by the loss of familiar plural vos was filled by originally polite ustedes, with the result that there is no familiar, polite distinction in the plural, just as in the original to, vos system. A similar path was followed by Italian and Romanian. Romanian uses dumnivoastra, your lordship, while Italian the former polite phrase sua excellenza, your excellency, has simply been supplanted by the corresponding pronoun ella or lei, literally, she, but capitalized when meaning, you. As in European Spanish, the original second person plural voi serves as familiar plural. In Italy, during fascist times leading up to World War II, voi was resurrected as a polite singular, and discarded again afterwards, although it remains in some southern dialects. 
Portuguese innovated again in developing a new extra polite pronoun Osenhor, the sir, which in turn downgraded voce. Hence, modern European Portuguese has a three way distinction between familiar to equalizing voce and polite o senhor. The original second person plural vos was discarded centuries ago in speech, and is used today only in translations of the Bible, where to and vos serve as universal singular and plural pronouns, respectively. Brazilian Portuguese, however, has diverged from this system, and most dialects simply use voce and plural voces as a general purpose second person pronoun, combined with te from to as the clitic object pronoun. The form o senhor and feminina sonora is sometimes used in speech, but only in situations where an English speaker would say, sir, or ma'am. The result is that second person verb forms have disappeared, and the whole pronoun system has been radically realigned. However that is the case only in the spoken language of central and northern Brazil, with the northeastern and southern areas of the country still largely preserving the second-person verb form in the to and voce distinction. Topic. Articles Topic. Latin had no articles as such. The closest definite article was the non-specific demonstrative as ea, id meaning approximately this, that, the. The closest indefinite articles were the indefinite determiners aliqui, aliqua, aliquad, some non-specific, and certus, a certain. Romance languages have both indefinite and definite articles, but none of the above words form the basis for either of these. Usually, the definite article is derived from the Latin demonstrative il, that. But some languages, e.g., Sardinian, and some dialects spoken around the Pyrenees, have forms from IPSE emphatic, as in I myself. The indefinite article everywhere is derived from the number unis, one. Some languages, e.g., French and Italian, have a partitive article that approximately translates as some. This is used either with mass nouns or with plural nouns, both cases where the indefinite article cannot occur. A partitive article is used and in French, required whenever a bare noun refers to specific but unspecified or unknown quantity of the noun, but not when a bare noun refers to a class in general. For example, the partitive would be used in both of the following sentences. I want milk. Men arrived today, but neither of these. Milk is good for you. I hate men. The sentence, men arrived today, however, presumably, means. Some specific men arrived today, rather than men, as a general class, arrived today, which would mean that there were no men before today. On the other hand, I hate men does mean I hate men, as a general class, rather than I hate some specific men. As in many other cases, French has developed the farthest from Latin in its use of articles. In French, nearly all nouns, singular and plural, must be accompanied by an article either indefinite, definite, or partitive or demonstrative pronoun. Due to pervasive sound changes in French, most nouns are pronounced identically in the singular and plural, and there is often heavy homophony between nouns and identically pronounced words of other classes. For example, all of the following are pronounced, s, sane, healthy, saint, saint, holy, sign, breast. Scenes. You put on gird. Seant. He puts on girds. Seant. Put on girded. And the equivalent noun and adjective plural forms saints, 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 saints. The article helps identify the noun forms saint or sign, and distinguish singular from plural. Likewise, the mandatory subject of verbs helps identify the verb seant. In more conservative Romance languages, neither articles nor subject pronouns are necessary, since all of the above words are pronounced differently. In Italian, for example, the equivalents are sano, santo, seno, singhi, sing, sinto, sani, santi, seni, sinti, where all vowels and consonants are pronounced as written, and s, s, and c, t, are clearly distinct from each other. Latin, at least originally, had a three-way distinction among demonstrative pronouns distinguished by distal value, hic, this, isti, that, near you, il, that, over there, similar to the distinction that used to exist in English as, this, versus, that, versus, yon, der. 
In urban Latin of Rome, isti came to have a specifically derogatory meaning, but this innovation apparently did not reach the provinces and is not reflected in the modern Romance languages. A number of these languages still have such a three-way distinction, although hic has been lost and the other pronouns have shifted somewhat in meaning. For example, Spanish has este this, versus esse that near you, versus aquel fem, aquea, that over yonder. The Spanish pronouns derive, respectively, from Latin isti ipse acu il, where acu is an emphatic prefix derived from ecum, behold it, still vigorous in Italy as echo, behold, possibly with influence from atqui, and reinforced demonstratives such as acu il arose as il came to be used as an article as well as a demonstrative. Such forms were often created even when not strictly needed to distinguish otherwise ambiguous forms. Italian, for example, has both questo, this, eccu istum, and quello, that, eccu illum, in addition to dialectal codesto, that, near you, asterisk eccu te istum. French generally prefers forms derived from bear eke, behold, as in the pronoun ce, this one, that one. Earlier co, from eke hoc, cf. Italian co, that, and the determiner ce, set. This, that, earlier cest, from eke istum. Reinforced forms are likewise common in locative adverbs, words such as English here and there, based on related Latin forms such as hic, this, versus hic, here, hack, this way, and ill, that, versus illic, there, illac, that way. Here again, French prefers bare eke while Spanish and Italian prefer ecum, French ICI, here. Versus Spanish a key, Italian key. In Western languages such as Spanish, Portuguese and Catalan, doublets and triplets arose such as Portuguese a key, aca, ca, to, here, acu hic, acu hack, eccu hack. From these, a prefix a was extracted, from which forms like i there, near you, a, i, by, and ali there, over yonder, a, i, lick, were created. Compare Catalan neuter pronouns aco, a, c, c, e, hoc, this, ixo, a, i, p, s, u, m, hoc, that, near you, allo, a, i, lum, hoc, that, yonder. Subsequent changes often reduced the number of demonstrative distinctions. Standard Italian, for example, has only a two-way distinction this versus that, as in English, with second-person and third-person demonstratives combined. In Catalan, however, a former three-way distinction a quest, a quikes, a kale has been reduced differently, with first-person and second-person demonstratives combined. Hence a quest means either this or that near you. On the phone, a quest is used to refer both to speaker and addressee. Old French had a similar distinction to Italian cist, cest versus cil, cell, both of which could function as either adjectives or pronouns. Modern French, however, has no distinction between this and that, ce, set, set, this or that. The distinction between this and that can be made, if necessary, by adding the suffixes c here or la there, e.g. set femme c this woman versus set femme la that woman, but this is rarely done except when specifically necessary to distinguish two entities from each other. Topic verbal morphology Topic Verbs have many conjugations, including in most languages, a present tense, a preterite, an imperfect, a pluperfect, a future tense tense and a future perfect in the indicative mood, for statements of fact. Present and preterite subjunctive tenses, for hypothetical or uncertain conditions. Several languages for example, Italian, Portuguese and Spanish have also imperfect and pluperfect subjunctives, although it is not unusual to have just one subjunctive equivalent for preterite and imperfect e.g. no unique subjunctive equivalent in Italian of the so-called passato remoto. Portuguese and Spanish also have future and future perfect subjunctives, which have no equivalent in Latin. An imperative mood, for direct commands. Three non-finite forms, infinitive, gerund, and past participle. Distinct active and passive voices, as well as an impersonal passive voice. Note that, although these categories are largely inherited from classical Latin, many of the forms are either newly constructed or inherited from different categories e.g. the Romance imperfect subjunctive most commonly is derived from the Latin pluperfect subjunctive, while the Romance pluperfect subjunctive is derived from a new present perfect tense with the auxiliary verb placed in the imperfect subjunctive. Several tenses and aspects, especially of the indicative mood, have been preserved with little change in most languages, as shown in the following table for the Latin verb disere to say, and its descendants. 1. The spelling is conservative. 
Note the pronunciations, dire, d, dit, d, de say, dies, dice, dis, dis, d, two until the 18th century. Three with the disused variant dies. Four long infinitive five in modern times, sheva. Six Sicilian now uses imperfect subjunctive dicesi in place of present subjunctive. The main tense and mood distinctions that were made in classical Latin are generally still present in the modern Romance languages, though many are now expressed through compound rather than simple verbs. The passive voice, which was mostly synthetic in classical Latin, has been completely replaced with compound forms. Owing to sound changes which made it homophonous with the preterite, the Latin future indicative tense was dropped, and replaced with a periphrasis of the form infinitive plus present tense of Habert to have. Eventually, this structure was reanalyzed as a new future tense. In a similar process, an entirely new conditional form was created. While the synthetic passive voice of classical Latin was abandoned in favor of periphrastic constructions, most of the active voice remained in use. However, several tenses have changed meaning, especially subjunctives. For example, the Latin pluperfect indicative became a conditional in Sicilian, and an imperfect subjunctive in Spanish. The Latin pluperfect subjunctive developed into an imperfect subjunctive in all languages except Romanche, where it became a conditional, and Romanian, where it became a pluperfect indicative. The Latin preterite subjunctive, together with the future perfect indicative, became a future subjunctive in Old Spanish, Portuguese, and Galician. The Latin imperfect subjunctive became a personal infinitive in Portuguese and Galician. Many Romance languages have two verbs to be. One is derived from Vulgar Latin asterisk acer, to be with an admixture of forms derived from sedir to sit, and is used mostly for essential attributes, the other is derived from stare to stand, and mostly used for temporary states. This development is most notable in Spanish, Portuguese and Catalan. In French, Italian and Romanian, the derivative of stare largely preserved an earlier meaning of to stand, to stay, although in modern Italian, stare is used in a few constructions where English would use to be, as in sto bene I am well. In Old French, the derivatives of asterisk ester and stare were ester and ester, respectively. In modern French, ester persists as etre to be while ester has been lost as a separate verb, but the former imperfect of ester is used as the modern imperfect of etre e.g. il ete he was, replacing the irregular forms derived from Latin e.g. er t, i -e -r -e -t he will be. During the Renaissance, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish and a few other Romance languages developed a progressive aspect which did not exist in Latin. In French, progressive constructions remain very limited, the imperfect generally being preferred, as in Latin. Many Romance languages now have a verbal construction analogous to the present perfect of English. In some, it has taken the place of the old preterite at least in the vernacular, in others, the two coexist with somewhat different meanings cf. English I did versus I have done. A few examples. Preterite only, Galician, Asturian, Sicilian, Leonese, Portuguese, some dialects of Spanish. Preterite and present perfect, Catalan, Occitan, Standard Spanish. Present perfect predominant, preterite now literary, French, Romanian, several dialects of Italian, some dialects of Spanish. Present perfect only, Romanche. Note that in Catalan, the synthetic preterite is predominantly a literary tense, except in Valencian, but an analytic preterite formed using an auxiliary veto, which in other languages signals the future, persists in speech, with the same meaning. In Portuguese, a morphological present perfect does exist but has a different meaning closer to I have been doing. The following are common features of the Romance languages inherited from Vulgar Latin that are different from Classical Latin. Adjectives generally follow the noun they modify. The normal clause structure is SVO, rather than SOV, and is much less flexible than in Latin. Many Latin constructions involving nominalized verbal forms e.g. the use of accusative plus infinitive in indirect discourse and the use of the ablative absolute were dropped in favor of constructions with subordinate clause. Exceptions can be found in Italian, for example, Latin tempori permittant, Italian tempo permettendo, el hoc facto greater than i co fato. Topic: Lexicon. Topic. Topic: Loan words. Topic. Romance languages have borrowed heavily, though mostly from other Romance languages. 
However, some, such as Spanish, Portuguese, Romanian, and French, have borrowed heavily from other language groups. Vulgar Latin borrowed first from indigenous languages of the Roman Empire, and during the Germanic folk movements, from Germanic languages, especially Gothic, for Eastern Romance languages, during Bulgarian empires, from Slavic languages, especially Bulgarian. Notable examples are asterisk blancus, white. Replacing native albus, but Romanche alv, Dalmatian walb, Romanian alb, asterisk gera, war. Replacing native bellum, and the words for the cardinal directions, where cognates of English, north, south, east, and west, replaced the native words septentrio, meridis, also, noon, midday nap, cf. Romanian marisa, orions, and occidens. See History of French, the Franks. Some Celtic words were incorporated into the core vocabulary, partly for words with no Latin equivalent Batula, birch, camisia, shirt, cerevisia, beer, but in some cases replacing Latin vocabulary gladius, sword, replacing ensis, cambiare, to exchange, replacing mutare except in Romanian and Portuguese, caris, cart, replacing curis, pedia, peace largely displacing pars later resurrected and eliminating frustum. Many Greek loans also entered the lexicon, e.g. spatha, sword, Greek, spath spath, replacing gladius which shifted to iris, cf. French epe, Spanish espada, Italian spada and Romanian spada, cara, face, Greek, cara cara, partly replacing facies, colp, blow, Greek, colophos colophos, replacing ictus, cf. Spanish golpe, French coup, cada, each, Greek, cada cada, replacing quisk, common suffixes asterisk iger, azer, Greek, eisen eisen, French oyer, iser, Spanish ear, izar, Italian egare, azar, etc., ista, Greek, istis istis. Topic. Lexical innovation Topic. Many basic nouns and verbs, especially those that were short or had irregular morphology, were replaced by longer derived forms with regular morphology. Nouns, and sometimes adjectives, were often replaced by diminutives, e.g. aris, ear, greater than auricula, orig, outer ear, greater than oricla, Sardinian origra, Italian orecchia, o, Portuguese orella, etc., avis, bird, greater than avicellus, orig, chick, nestling. Greater than Ocellu, Occitan Ossel, Friulan Ucel, French Oiseau, etc., Caput, Head. Greater than Capitium, Portuguese Cabeça, Spanish Cabeza, French Chevette, Headboard. But reflexes of Caput were retained also, sometimes without change of meaning, as in Italian Capo, Head. Alongside Testa, Vetus, Old. Greater than Vetulus, Greater than Veclus, Dalmatian Veclo, Italian Vecchio, Portuguese Velho, etc. Sometimes augmentative constructions were used instead, piscus, fish, greater than Old French pays greater than pison, orig, big fish, greater than French poisson. Verbs were often replaced by frequentative constructions, canir, to sing, greater than canter, iachere, to throw, greater than iactare, greater than asterisk iactare, Italian getter, Portuguese yeitar, Spanish etcher, etc. Ayuvare greater than audiatare Italian ayutari, Spanish ayuder, French aider, etc., meaning help, alongside e.g. ayuvare greater than Italian geovare, to be of use, venari, hunt, Romanian, vana, Aramanian, avan, avanari, greater than replaced by asterisk capsiere, to hunt, frequentative of capri, to seize. Italian cacciare, Portuguese cacar, Romanche catcher, French chasser, etc. Many classical Latin words became archaic or poetic and were replaced by more colloquial terms, equus, horse, greater than caballus, orig, nag, but equa, mare, remains, cf. Spanish yegua, Portuguese egua, Sardinian eba, Romanian iapa, domus, house, greater than casa, orig, hut, ignis, fire, Greater than focus, orig, hearth, strata, street, greater than ruga, orig, furrow, or callus, orig, footpath, but strata is continued in Italian strada, Romanian strada, and secondarily in e.g. Spanish, Portuguese, a strada, causeway, paved road, 
In some cases, terms from common occupations became generalized, invenir to find, replaced by Ibero Romance Afflair, a ridge to sniff out. In hunting, cf. Spanish haller, Portuguese achar, Romanian afla to find out, advenir to arrive, gave way to Ibero Romance Placare, a ridge to fold, sails, tents, cf. Spanish legar, Portuguese cheger, Romanian pleca, elsewhere arapare, a ridge to harbor at a riverbank, cf. Italian arrivare, French arriver advenir is continued with the meaning, to achieve, manage to do, as in Middle French avender, or, to happen, in Italian avenir. The same thing sometimes happened to religious terms, due to the pervasive influence of Christianity, loqui, to speak, succumb to parabolaire, orige, to tell parables, cf. Occitan parlor, French parlor, Italian parlaire or fabulary orige, to tell stories, cf. Spanish oblar, Portuguese falar, based on Jesus' way of speaking in parables. Many prepositions were used as verbal particles to make new roots and verb stems, e.g. Italian estere, Aramanian astragu, astradziri, to extract, from Latin ex, out of, and trahir, to pull, Italian trar draw, pull, or to augment already existing words, e.g. French codra, Italian cousir, Portuguese coser, to sew, from consuere, to sew up, from suere, to sew, with total loss of the bare stem. Many prepositions and commonly became compounded, e.g. de ex greater than French day as of, ab anti greater than Italian avanti forward. Some words derived from phrases, e.g. Portuguese agora, Spanish ahora now at this hour, French avec with prep near that, Spanish tamaño, Portuguese tamana size so big, Italian codesto this, that near you here's that thing of yours, Portuguese voce you your mercy, a number of common Latin words that have disappeared in many or most Romance languages have survived either in the periphery or in remote corners especially Sardinia and Romania, or as secondary terms, sometimes differing in meaning. For example, Latin casium cheese in the more outer places Portuguese queijo, Spanish queso, Romanche cachiel, Sardinian casu, Romanian saws, but in the central areas has been replaced by formaticum, originally molded cheese French fromage, Occitan, Catalan formage, Italian formaggio, with, however, casio also available, similarly, com a deer to eat up, which survives as Spanish, Portuguese comer but elsewhere is replaced by manducare, originally to chew French manger, Italian manjar. Catalan manjar, but Spanish, Portuguese noun manor food or uplifting meal. In some cases, one language happens to preserve a word displaced elsewhere, e.g. Italian agni each, every, whole or by a reflex of Greek cata e.g. Italian agnino, Catalan totham everyone, Italian agni giorno, Spanish cata dia every day, friulan vi to cry. To weep, vegliote odagemna fishing pole. Yardarm, Aramanian, spruna, warm ashes. Achina, grape. Topic Latinism. Topic During the Middle Ages, scores of words were borrowed directly from classical Latin, so-called Latinisms, either in their original form, learned loans, or in a somewhat nativized form, semi-learned loans. These resulted in many doublets, pairs of inherited and learned words, such as those in the table below. Sometimes triplets arise: Latin articulus joint, greater than Portuguese articulo joint, knuckle learned, artiga article semi-learned, artelo ankle inherited, archaic and dialectal. In many cases, the learned word simply displaced the original popular word, e.g. Spanish crudo crude, raw, Old Spanish cruo, French legume vegetable, Old French liam, Portuguese flor flower, Galician Portuguese chore. The learned loan always looks more like the original than the inherited word does, because regular sound change has been bypassed, and likewise, the learned word usually has a meaning closer to that of the original. In French, however, the stress of the learned loan may be on the wrong syllable, whereas the stress of the inherited word always corresponds to the Latin stress, e.g. Latin vipera versus French vipere, learned loan, and guiver, vouvre, inherited. Borrowing from classical Latin has produced a large number of suffix doublets. Examples from Spanish learned form first, cion versus zon, cia versus za, ificar versus aguar, izar versus ear, mento versus miento, tude this borrowing also introduced large numbers of classical prefixes in their original form dis, ex, post, trans and reinforced many others re, popular Spanish, Portuguese day topic sound changes topic topic consonants topic significant sound changes affected the consonants of the Romance languages. 
Topic apocopy topic There was a tendency to eliminate final consonants in Vulgar Latin, either by dropping them apocopy or adding a vowel after them apenthesis. Many final consonants were rare, occurring only in certain prepositions e.g. ad, towards, a pud, at, near, a person, conjunctions sed, but, demonstratives e.g. illid that, over there, hoc, this, and nominative singular noun forms, especially of neuter nouns e.g. lack, milk, mel, honey, core, heart. Many of these prepositions and conjunctions were replaced by others, while the nouns were regularized into forms based on their oblique stems that avoided the final consonants e.g. asterisk lact, asterisk mele, asterisk cor. Final m was dropped in Vulgar Latin. Even in Classical Latin, final am, m, um inflectional suffixes of the accusative case were often elided in poetic meter, suggesting the m was weakly pronounced, probably marking the nasalization of the vowel before it. This nasal vowel lost its nasalization in the Romance languages except in monosyllables, where it became n, e.g. Spanish quien, whom, French rien, anything, thing, note especially French and Catalan mon, my m dot sg, pronounced as one syllable, meu, m, greater than asterisk, meu, n, moon, but Spanish mio and Portuguese and Catalan meu asterisk, me, o. As a result, only the following final consonants occurred in Vulgar Latin, final t in third-person singular verb forms, and nt later reduced in many languages to n in third-person plural verb forms. Final s including x in a large number of morphological endings verb endings as s, is, is, muse, tis, nominative singular us, is, plural as, os, s and certain other words trace, three, sex, six, crass, tomorrow, etc. Final n in some monosyllables from earlier m. Final r, d in some prepositions e.g. ad, per, which were clitics that attached phonologically to the following word. Very occasionally, final c, e.g. Occitan oc, yes, with he loves, greater than Old French Amy but Venet, he comes, greater than Old French Vient, the, t, was never dropped and survives into modern French in liaison, e.g. Vient il, is he coming? Vjt l. The corresponding t in Amy t il is analogical, not inherited. Old French also kept the third-person plural ending nt intact. In Italo-Romance and the Eastern Romance languages, eventually all final consonants were either dropped or protected by an epenthetic vowel, except in clitic forms, e.g. prepositions con, per. Modern Standard Italian still has almost no consonant final words, although Romanian has resurfaced them through later loss of final, u, and i. For example, amas you love greater than aim greater than Italian ami, amant they love greater than asterisk aman greater than ital, amano. On the evidence of sloppily written Lombardic language documents, however, the loss of final s in Italy did not occur until the 7th or 8th century, after the Vulgar Latin period, and the presence of many former final consonants is betrayed by the syntactic gemination syntatico that they trigger. It is also thought that after a long vowel, s became j, rather than simply disappearing, nos greater than noi, we, say, d, s greater than say, you are, crass greater than cray, tomorrow, southern Italian. In unstressed syllables, the resulting diphthongs were simplified, canes greater than, canage, greater than cani, dogs, amicus greater than, amicage, greater than amici, amike, female, friends, where nominative amicae should produce asterisk asterisk amis rather than amici note masculine amici greater than amici not asterisk asterisk amici. Central Western Romance languages eventually regained a large number of final consonants through the general loss of final, e, and, o, e, g. Catalan llet milk fire fish cold greater than old French fright frw epsilon t greater than Freud foi feminine frigidam greater than old French freed frw epsilon d greater than Freud foid. Topic palatalization topic palatalization was one of the most important processes affecting consonants in vulgar Latin. This eventually resulted in a whole series of palatal and postalveolar consonants in most Romance languages, e.g. Italian. D, T, S, D, Z. The following historical stages occurred. Note how the environments become progressively less palatal, and the languages affected become progressively fewer. The outcomes of palatalization depended on the historical stage, the consonants involved, and the languages involved. The primary division is between the Western Romance languages, with TS, resulting from palatalization of K, and the remaining languages, Italo Dalmatian and Eastern Romance, with resulting. It is often suggested that was the original result in all languages, with 
greater than, ts, a later innovation in the Western Romance languages. Evidence of this is the fact that Italian has both and tts, as outcomes of palatalization in different environments, while Western Romance has only t, ts. Even more suggestive is the fact that the Mozarabic language in Al Andalus modern southern Spain had as the outcome despite being in the Western Romance area and geographically disconnected from the remaining areas. This suggests that Mozarabic was an outlying relic area where the change greater than ts failed to reach. Northern French dialects, such as Norman and Picard, also had but this may be a secondary development, i.e., due to a later sound change, ts greater than Note that, ts, dz, d, eventually became, s, z, in most Western Romance languages. Thus Latin chylum, sky, heaven, pronounced, chi, lu, m, with an initial, k, became Italian cielo, to lo, Romanian cer, ter, Spanish cielo, theta jello, cielo, French seal, estgel, Catalan cell, and Portuguese seu, so. The outcome of palatalized, d, and, is less clear, original, j, has the same outcome as palatalized, everywhere. Romanian fairly consistently has, z, Italian inconsistently has, d d z tilde d d, from palatalized, d, and, d d, from palatalized. Most other languages have the same results for palatalized, d, and, consistent, d, initially, but either, j, or, d, medially depending on language and exact context. But Spanish has, j, phonetically initially except before, o, u, nearby Gascon is similar, this suggests that palatalized, d, greater than, d, greater than either, j, or, d, z, depending on location, while palatalized, greater than, j, after this, j, greater than, d, d, in most areas, but Spanish and Gascon originating from isolated districts behind the Western Pyrenees were relic areas unaffected by this change. In French, the outcomes of, k, Palatalized by e, i, j, and by a, o, were different, centum hundred greater than cent, s, but cantum song greater than chant. French also underwent palatalization of labials before, j, vulgar Latin, pj, bj tilde vj, mj, greater than old French, d, end, sepia cuttlefish greater than sechi, rubius red greater than rouge, simia monkey greater than singe. The original outcomes of palatalization must have continued to be phonetically palatalized even after they had developed into alveolar, postalveolar, etc. consonants. This is clear from French, where all originally palatalized consonants triggered the development of a following glide, j, in certain circumstances most visible in the endings are, autumn, atom, atom. In some cases this, j, came from a consonant palatalized by an adjoining consonant after the late loss of a separating vowel. For example, mansionatum greater than, mas o nata, greater than mas nata, greater than, mas n ashev, greater than early old French maisnid, maisni, household. Similarly, meditatum greater than, majitate, greater than, mej tade, greater than, mej tae, greater than early old French mited, mej t theta, greater than modern French moitie, mwa tje, half. In both cases, phonetic palatalization must have remained in primitive Old French at least through the time when unstressed intertonic vowels were lost, c. 8th century, well after the fragmentation of the Romance languages. The effect of palatalization is indicated in the writing systems of almost all Romance languages, where the letters have the hard pronunciation k in most situations, but a soft pronunciation e.g. French, Portuguese s, Italian, Romanian, D before E, I, Y. This orthographic trait has passed into modern English through Norman French speaking scribes writing Middle English. This replaced the earlier system of Old English, which had developed its own hard soft distinction with the soft C, G representing J tilde D. This has the effect of keeping the modern spelling similar to the original Latin spelling, but complicates the relationship between sound and letter. In particular, the hard sounds must be written differently before E, I, Y, E, G. Italian ch, gh, Portuguese cu, gu, and likewise for the soft sounds when not before these letters e.g. Italian c, g, Portuguese c cedilla, j. Furthermore, in Spanish, Catalan, Occitan and Brazilian Portuguese, the use of digraphs containing u to signal the hard pronunciation before e, i, y means that a different spelling is also needed to signal the sounds, k, w, with before these vowels Spanish cu, gu diaresis, Catalan, Occitan and Brazilian Portuguese cu, gu diaresis. This produces a number of orthographic alternations in verbs whose pronunciation is entirely regular. 
The following are examples of corresponding first person plural indicative and subjunctive in a number of regular Portuguese verbs: marcamos, marquemos, we mark, cacamos, casemos, we hunt, chegamos, chegamos, we arrive, averguamos, averigamos, we verify, adequamos, adequamos, we adapt, aferecemos, aferecamos, we offer, dirigimos, dirahamos, we drive, ergamos, ergamos, we raise, delinquamos, delincamos, we commit a crime. In the case of Italian, the convention of digraphs and to represent k and per gram before written results in similar orthographic alternations, such as dimentico I forget, dimentici you forget, baco worm, baci worms with k or pago I pay, pagi you pay, and lago lake, loggi lakes with g. The use in Italian of and to represent or d before vowels written neatly distinguishes dico I say with k from dici you say with or gyro dormouse per gram, and gyro turn, revolution, d, but with orthographic and also representing the sequence of or, d, and the actual vowel, i, diti, dici, diro, gyro, and no generally observed convention of indicating stress position, the status of i when followed by another vowel in spelling can be unrecognizable. For example, the written forms offer no indication that in kamicha shirt represents a single unstressed syllable ta with no i at any level ka mi da ka mi ta tilde ka mi a but that underlying the same spelling in pharmacia pharmacy is a bisyllabic sequence consisting of the stressed syllable t and syllabic a pharmatia pharmatia tilde pharma ia topic lenition topic stop consonants shifted by lenition in vulgar latin in some areas the voiced labial consonants b and with represented by b and v respectively both developed a fricative beta as an intervocalic allophone this is clear from the orthography in medieval times the spelling of a consonantal v is often used for what had been a b in classical latin or the two spellings were used interchangeably in many romance languages italian french portuguese romanian etc this fricative later developed into a v but in others spanish galician some catalan and occitan dialects etc reflexes of b and with simply merged into a single phoneme several other consonants were softened in intervocalic position in Western Romance Spanish, Portuguese, French, Northern Italian, but normally not phonemically in the rest of Italy except some cases of elegant or ecclesiastical words, nor apparently at all in Romanian. The dividing line between the two sets of dialects is called the La Spezia Rimini line and is one of the most important isoglosses of the Romance dialects. The changes instances of diachronic lenition resulting in phonological restructuring are as follows. Single voiceless plosives became voiced, p, t, c greater than b, d, g. Subsequently, in some languages they were further weakened, either becoming fricatives or approximants, b, eth, as in Spanish, or disappearing entirely, as, t, and, k, but not, p, in French. The following example shows progressive weakening of original t, e.g. vitam greater than Italian vita, vita, Portuguese vita, vid, European Portuguese v, Spanish vita, bia, Southern Peninsular Spanish bia, and French vi, v. Some scholars once speculated that these sound changes may be due in part to the influence of continental Celtic languages, but scholarship of the past few decades challenges that hypothesis. The voiced plosives d and tended to disappear. The plain sibilant s, s was also voiced to z between vowels, although in many languages its spelling has not changed. In Spanish, intervocalic z was later devoiced back to s. Z is only found as an allophone of s before voiced consonants in modern Spanish. The double plosives became single pp, tt, cc, bb, dd, gg greater than p, t, c, b, d, g in most languages. In French spelling, double consonants are merely etymological, except for ll after i pronounced ij, in most cases. The double sibilant ss s also became phonetically single s, although in many languages its spelling has not changed. Consonant length is no longer phonemically distinctive in most Romance languages. However some languages of Italy Italian, Sardinian, Sicilian, and numerous other varieties of Central and Southern Italy do have long consonants like 
DD, BB, KK, TT, PP, LL, per millimeter, NN, SS, RR, etc., where the doubling indicates either actual length or, in the case of plosives and affricates, a short hold before the consonant is released, in many cases with distinctive lexical value, e.g. note slash n dot te, notes versus not slash n t dot te, night, cade slash ka dot da, s, he, it falls versus cad slash ka dot da, s, he, it fell, caro slash ka dot ro, dear, expensive versus caro slash car dot ro, cart. They may even occur at the beginning of words in Romanesco, Neapolitan, Sicilian and other southern varieties, and are occasionally indicated in writing, e.g. Sicilian chu more, and cca here. In general, the consonants, b, t, s, and, d, z, are long at the start of a word, while the archiphoneme, r, is realized as a trill, r, in the same position. In much of central and southern Italy, the affricates, t, and, d, weaken synchronically to fricative, and, between vowels, while their geminate congeners do not, e.g. casio, ca, t, o, ca, o, cheese, versus cacio, cat, t, o, cat, t, o, i, chase. A few languages have regained secondary geminate consonants. The double consonants of Piedmontese exist only after stressed, written e, and are not etymological, ved, Latin vedere, to see, secca, Latin sicca, dry, feminine of sec. In standard Catalan and Occitan, there exists a geminate sound, l, written ul, Catalan, or ll, Occitan, but it is usually pronounced as a simple sound in colloquial, and even some formal, speech in both languages. Topic prosthesis topic In Western Romance, an epithetic or prosthetic vowel was inserted at the beginning of any word that began with s, and another consonant, spatha sword, greater than Spanish, Portuguese espada, Catalan espasa, Old French espide greater than modern epe, Stephanum Stephen, greater than Spanish esteban, Catalan estive, Portuguese estivao, Old French estiavna greater than modern etienne, status state greater than Spanish, Portuguese estado, Catalan estat, Old French estat greater than modern Natat, spiritus spirit, greater than Spanish espiritu, Portuguese espirito, Catalan esperit, French esprit. Epithetic e in Western Romance languages may have been influenced by continental Celtic languages, although the phenomenon exists or existed in some areas where Celtic was never present. While Western Romance words undergo word initial epenthesis prothesis, cognates in Italian do not, spatha greater than spada, stefanum, stefano, status greater than stato, spiritus greater than spirito. In Italian, syllabification rules were preserved instead by vowel final articles, thus feminine spada is la spada, but instead of rendering the masculine asterisk il spaghetto, lo spaghetto came to be the norm. Though receding at present, Italian once had an epithetic i if a consonant preceded such clusters, so that in Switzerland was in i svizzera. Some speakers still use the prothetic i productively, and it is fossilized in a few set phrases such as per iscrito in writing. Although in this case its survival may be due partly to the influence of the separate word iscrito. Topic stressed vowels. Topic topic loss of vowel length. Reorientation. Topic one profound change that affected vulgar Latin was the reorganization of its vowel system. Classical Latin had five short vowels, a, e, i, o, u, and five long vowels, a, e, i, o, u, each of which was an individual phoneme see the table in the right, for their likely pronunciation in IPA, and four diphthongs, a, o, o and eu, five according to some authors, including ui. There were also long and short versions of y, representing the rounded vowel, y, in Greek borrowings, which however probably came to be pronounced, i, even before Romance vowel changes started. There is evidence that in the imperial period all the short vowels except a differed by quality as well as by length from their long counterparts. So, for example e was pronounced close mid, e, while e was pronounced open mid, and i was pronounced close, i, while i was pronounced near close, during the Proto-Romance period, phonemic length distinctions were lost. Vowels came to be automatically pronounced long in stressed, open syllables i.e. when followed by only one consonant, and pronounced short everywhere else. This situation is still maintained in modern Italian, cade cada, he falls versus cad, cad he fell. The Proto-Romance loss of phonemic length originally produced a system with nine different quality distinctions in monophthongs, where only original, aa, had merged. Soon, however, many of these vowels coalesced. The simplest outcome was in Sardinian, where the former long and short vowels in Latin simply coalesced, e.g., e, e, greater than, e, i, i, greater than, i. This produced a simple five vowel system, a, e, i, o, u. 
In most areas, however, technically, the Italo Western languages, the near close vowels lowered and merged into the high mid vowels, eo. As a result, Latin pira pair and vera true came to rhyme, e.g., Italian and Spanish para, vera, and Old French poire, voir. Similarly, Latin nusum from nux nut and vosum from vox voice become Italian noce, voce, Portuguese noz, vos, and French noix, voix. This produced a seven vowel system, a, e, i, o, u, still maintained in conservative languages such as Italian and Portuguese, and lightly transformed in Spanish where greater than, je, greater than, we. In the Eastern Romance languages, particularly Romanian, the front vowels e e i i evolved as in the majority of languages, but the back vowels o o u u evolved as in Sardinian. This produced an unbalanced six vowel system a e i o u. In modern Romanian, this system has been significantly transformed with greater than j and with new vowels evolving, leading to a balanced seven vowel system with central as well as front and back vowels a e i o u. Sicilian is sometimes described as having its own distinct vowel system. In fact, Sicilian passed through the same developments as the main bulk of Italo-Western languages. Subsequently, however, high mid vowels but not low mid vowels were raised in all syllables, stressed and unstressed, i.e., eo, greater than, i, u. The result is a five vowel, a, i, u. The Proto-Romance allophonic vowel length system was rephonemicized in the Gallo-Romance languages as a result of the loss of many final vowels. Some northern Italian languages e Friulan, still maintain this secondary phonemic length, but most languages dropped it by either diphthongizing or shortening the new long vowels. French phonemicized a third vowel length system around AD 1300 as a result of the sound change, vsc, greater than, vhc, greater than, vc, where v is any vowel and c any consonant. This vowel length was eventually lost by around AD 1700, but the former long vowels are still marked with a circumflex. A fourth vowel length system, still non-phonemic, has now arisen, all nasal vowels as well as the oral vowels, oo, which mostly derive from former long vowels are pronounced long in all stressed closed syllables, and all vowels are pronounced long in syllables closed by the voiced fricatives, vz, v. This system in turn has been phonemicized in some non-standard dialects e.g. Haitian Creole, as a result of the loss of final topic Latin diphthongs topic The Latin diphthongs A and O, pronounced I, and OI, in earlier Latin, were early on monophthongized, A became, by the first century A, D, at the latest. Although this sound was still distinct from all existing vowels, the neutralization of Latin vowel length eventually caused its merger with Sky greater than French seal, Spanish, Italian cielo, Portuguese seu, with, with the same vowel as in mealy, honey, greater than French, Spanish meal, Italian mealy, Portuguese mel per meter l. Some words show an early merger of a with e, as in preta booty, greater than asterisk preta, pre da, greater than French proe, versus expected asterisk asterisk prae, Italian preta, not asterisk asterisk preta, pre, or phenom, hey, greater than asterisk phenom, fe nu, greater than Spanish hino, French foin, but Italian fino, fio. O generally merged with e, penum punishment, greater than romance asterisk peña, greater than Spanish Italian peña, French pain, fotis ugly, greater than romance asterisk fedo, greater than Spanish feo, Portuguese feio. There are relatively few such outcomes since o was rare in classical Latin. Most original instances had become classical u, as in Old Latin oinus one, greater than classical unis, and so o was mostly limited to Greek loanwords, which were typically learned high register terms. O merged with o, o, in the popular speech of Rome already by the first century B. C. A number of authors remarked on this explicitly, e.g. Cicero's taunt that the populist politician Publius Clodius Pulcher had changed his name from Claudius to ingratiate himself with the masses. This change never penetrated far from Rome, however, and the pronunciation, o, was maintained for centuries in the vast majority of Latin-speaking areas, although it eventually developed into some variety of o in many languages. For example, Italian and French have, as the usual reflex, but this post dates diphthongization of and the French specific palatalization, ca, greater than, ta, hence causa greater than French chose, Italian cosa, kiza, not asterisk asterisk quosa. Spanish has, o, but Portuguese spelling maintains o, which has developed to, o, and still remains as, o, in some dialects, and, oi, in others. 
Occitan, Romanian, Southern Italian languages, and many other minority Romance languages still have o. A few common words, however, show an early merger with o, o, evidently reflecting a generalization of the popular Roman pronunciation, e.g. French q, Italian coda, coda, Occitan co d, a, Romanian coada all meaning tail must all derive from coda rather than classical coda but notice Portuguese coda. Similarly, Portuguese orella, French orile, Romanian uriche, and Sardinian olacra, oricla ear, must derive from oric u, la rather than classical aris. Occitan oralha was probably influenced by the unrelated osser to hear, and the form oricla is in fact reflected in the appendix proby. Topic further developments topic topic Metaphony topic An early process that operated in all Romance languages to varying degrees was metaphony vowel mutation, conceptually similar to the umlaut process so characteristic of the Germanic languages. Depending on the language, certain stressed vowels were raised or sometimes diphthongized either by a final i, or u, or by a directly following j. Metaphony is most extensive in the Italo-Romance languages, and applies to nearly all languages in Italy, however, it is absent from Tuscan, and hence from Standard Italian. In many languages affected by metaphony, a distinction exists between final, u, from most cases of Latin um, and final, o, from Latin o, ud and some cases of um, especially. Masculine mass nouns, and only the former triggers metaphony. Some examples, in Servigliano in the Marche of Italy, stressed, e, o, are raised to, e, i, o, u, before final, i, or, u, meto, i put, versus, midi, you put, modest, fem, versus, mo destu, modest, mask, questo, this, newt, this, mask, calvalo in Basilicata, southern Italy, is similar, but the low mid vowels, are diphthongized to, juo, rather than raised, met, he puts, versus, midi, you put, but, no, I think, versus, pieni, you think. Metaphony also occurs in most northern Italian dialects, but only by usually lost final asterisk i, apparently, final asterisk u was lowered to asterisk o usually lost before metaphony could take effect. Some of the Astor Leonese languages in northern Spain have the same distinction between final o and u as in the central southern Italian languages, with u triggering metaphony. The plural of masculine nouns in these dialects ends in os, which does not trigger metaphony, unlike in the singular verses. Italian plural i, which does trigger metaphony. Sardinian has allophonic raising of mid-vowels, to eo before final, i, or, u. This has been phonemicized in the Campidanese dialect as a result of the raising of final, eo, to, i, u. Raising of to, o, occurs sporadically in Portuguese in the masculine singular, e.g. porco, porcu, pig, versus porcos, pris, pig. It is thought that Galician Portuguese at one point had singular, u, versus plural, os, exactly as in modern Astor Leonese. In all of the Western Romance languages, final, i, primarily occurring in the first person singular of the preterite raised mid-high, e, o, to, i, u, e, g. Portuguese fizz I did he did I did versus fezo he did o oh, by analogy with amo he loved but subsequently generalized stressed i producing modern heis I did versus hizo he did the same thing happened prehistorically in Old French, yielding fis I did, fist, he did. Topic diphthongization topic A number of languages diphthongized some of the free vowels, especially the open mid vowels. Spanish consistently diphthongized all open mid vowels greater than, joui, except for before certain palatal consonants which raised the vowels to close mid before diphthongization took place. Romanian similarly diphthongized, to, je, the corresponding vowel, did not develop from Proto-Romance. Italian diphthongized, greater than, j, and, greater than, in open syllables in the situations where vowels were lengthened in Proto-Romance, the most salient exception being, bene, bene, well. Perhaps due to the high frequency of apocopated ben, e.g., ben difficile, quite difficult, ben fatto, well made, etc. French similarly diphthongized in open syllables when lengthened, along with aeo, aeo, greater than a i a u o, greater than middle of e je i we e u, greater than modern e je wa o tilde o o tilde o. French also diphthongized before palatalized consonants, especially j. Further development was as follows, j, greater than, i.e. j, greater than, i, j, greater than, uoj, greater than early of, uj, greater than modern, i. Catalan diphthongized, 
before j from palatalized consonants just like french with similar results j greater than i j greater than uj these diphthongizations had the effect of reducing or eliminating the distinctions between open mid and close mid vowels in many languages in spanish and romanian all open mid vowels were diphthongized and the distinction disappeared entirely Portuguese is the most conservative in this respect, keeping the seven vowel system more or less unchanged but with changes in particular circumstances, e.g. due to metaphony. Other than before palatalized consonants, Catalan keeps o intact, but e split in a complex fashion into e and then coalesced again in the standard dialect Eastern Catalan in such a way that most original e have reversed their quality to become e. In French and Italian, the distinction between open mid and close mid vowels occurred only in closed syllables. Standard Italian more or less maintains this. In French, e and merged by the 12th century or so, and the distinction between and o was eliminated without merging by the sound changes u greater than y o greater than u. Generally, this led to a situation where both e o and occur allophonically, with the close mid-vowels in open syllables and the open mid-vowels in closed syllables. This is still the situation in modern Spanish, for example. In French, however, both e and o were partly rephomicized, both e and occur in open syllables as a result of aj, greater than and both o and occur in closed syllables as a result of al, greater than o, greater than o. Old French also had numerous falling diphthongs resulting from diphthongization before palatal consonants or from a fronted j, originally following palatal consonants in Proto Romance or later, e.g., passum, bats e, peace, greater than pwr, asterisk, pads e, lenition, greater than of pays, patch, asterisk, punctum, point, greater than gallo romance, asterisk, pon to, greater than asterisk, patu, fronting, greater than of point, point. During the Old French period, preconsonantal, l, vocalized to, with, producing many new falling diphthongs, e.g. dulcem, sweet, greater than pwr asterisk, dolts e, greater than of doles, dues, greater than dues, duts, fallot, fails, is deficient, greater than of fault, greater than foe, is needed, bellus, beautiful, greater than of bells, bs, greater than bows, bas. By the end of the Middle French period, all falling diphthongs either monophthongized or switched to rising diphthongs. Proto of a j j j j e j j j w j o j u j l l l l l o l l greater than early of a j j i e j y j o j y j a a e u i a y greater than modern spelling i a i o i u i o i u i o o e u i o o u greater than mod French i wa i wa i o o o i u u y Topic. Nasalization Topic. In both French and Portuguese, nasal vowels eventually developed from sequences of a vowel followed by a nasal consonant per meter, or, n. Originally, all vowels in both languages were nasalized before any nasal consonants, and nasal consonants not immediately followed by a vowel were eventually dropped. In French, nasal vowels before remaining nasal consonants were subsequently denasalized, but not before causing the vowels to lower somewhat, e.g. Donut, he gives, greater than of dun, dun, greater than dun, dn, feminum greater than fem, fam. Other vowels remained diphthongized, and were dramatically lowered, finum, end, greater than fin, f, often pronounced f ash, linguam, tongue, greater than long, l, unum, one, greater than un. In Portuguese, n, between vowels was dropped, and the resulting hiatus eliminated through vowel contraction of various sorts, often producing diphthongs, manum, asterisk manos greater than pwr asterisk manu, manos, hands, greater than mau, maus per meter w, m w, s, canum, canes, dogs, greater than pwr asterisk cane, canes greater than asterisk can, canes greater than sow, c's, k w, KJ S rationum rationes reasons greater than PWR asterisk ra DZ one ra DZ ones greater than asterisk ra DZ on ra D zones greater than razao razos kaya ZW kaya zaj S Brazil a Z zaj Portugal sometimes the nasalization was eliminated Luna moon greater than Galician Portuguese Lua greater than Lua Vena vein greater than Galician Portuguese Veia greater than Veia. 
Nasal vowels that remained actually tend to be raised rather than lowered, as in French, finum, end, greater than fim, phi, centum, hundred, greater than pwrts2 greater than cento, setu, pontum, bridge, greater than pwr ne greater than ponte, pati, Brazil, pot, Portugal. In Portugal, vowels before a nasal consonant have become denasalized, but in Brazil they remain heavily nasalized. Topic. Front rounded vowels Topic. Characteristic of the Gallo Romance languages and Rato Romance languages are the front rounded vowels, yoo. All of these languages show an unconditional change, u, greater than, y, e.g., lunum greater than French lun, lin, occitan, lino. Many of the languages in Switzerland and Italy show the further change, y, greater than, i. Also very common is some variation of the French development, o, lengthened in open syllables greater than, we eu, greater than, o, o, with mid-back vowels diphthongizing in some circumstances and then re-monophthongizing into mid-front rounded vowels. French has both, o, and, o, with, o, developing from, o, in certain circumstances. Topic. Unstressed vowels Topic. There was more variability in the result of the unstressed vowels. Originally in Proto-Romance, the same nine vowels developed in unstressed as stressed syllables, and in Sardinian, they coalesced into the same five vowels in the same way. In Italo-Western Romance, however, vowels in unstressed syllables were significantly different from stressed vowels, with yet a third outcome for final unstressed syllables. In non-final unstressed syllables, the seven-vowel system of stressed syllables developed, but then the low mid-vowels merged into the high mid vowels eo this system is still preserved largely or completely in all of the conservative romance languages e.g. italian spanish portuguese catalan in final unstressed syllables results were somewhat complex one of the more difficult issues is the development of final short u which appears to have been raised to u rather than lowered to o as happened in all other syllables However, it is possible that in reality, final, u, comes from long asterisk u, greater than, os, but um greater than, greater than, u. The original five-vowel system in final unstressed syllables was preserved as is in some of the more conservative Central Italian languages, but in most languages there was further coalescence, in Tuscan including Standard Italian, final, u, merged into, o. In the Western Romance languages, final, I, eventually merged into, E, although final, I, triggered metaphony before that, e.g. Spanish heis, Portuguese fizz, I did. In the Gallo-Romance languages, part of Western Romance, final, O, and, E, were dropped entirely unless that produced an impossible final cluster, e.g., TR, in which case a prop vowel, E, was added. This left only two final vowels, A, and prop vowel, E. Catalan preserves this system. Loss of final stressless vowels in Venetian shows a pattern intermediate between Central Italian and the Gallo-Italic branch, and the environments for vowel deletion vary considerably depending on the dialect. In the table above, final e is uniformly absent in mar, absent in some dialects in part e, part e, and set e, saint e, but retained in mare in primitive Old French, one of the Gallo-Romance languages. These two remaining vowels merged into. Various later changes happened in individual languages, e.g., in French, most final consonants were dropped, and then final was also dropped. The is still preserved in spelling as a final silent e, whose main purpose is to signal that the previous consonant is pronounced, e.g. port port, p, versus port door, point. These changes also eliminated the difference between singular and plural in most words, ports ports still, p, ports doors still, point. Final consonants reappear in liaison contexts in close connection with a following vowel initial word, e.g. nous new, we versus nous avons new .za, v, we have, il fate il, f he does versus fate il, f. Till does he. In Portuguese, final unstressed, o, and, u, were apparently preserved intact for a while, since final unstressed, u, but not, o, or, os, triggered metaphony see above. Final syllable unstressed, o, was raised in preliterary times to, u, but always still written o. At some point, perhaps in late Galician Portuguese, final syllable unstressed, e, was raised to, i, but still written e, this remains in Brazilian Portuguese, but has developed to, in European Portuguese. In Catalan, final unstressed, as, greater than, s. 
In many dialects, unstressed o and u merge into u, as in Portuguese, and unstressed a and e merge into. However, some dialects preserve the original five vowel system, most notably Standard Valencian. Topic intertonic vowels Topic The so-called intertonic vowels are word internal unstressed vowels, i.e. not in the initial, final, or tonic i.e. stressed syllable, hence intertonic. Intertonic vowels were the most subject to loss or modification. Already in vulgar Latin intertonic vowels between a single consonant and a following, r, or, l, tended to drop, betulum, old, greater than veclum greater than dalmatian veclo, sicilian vechu, portuguese velho. But many languages ultimately dropped almost all intertonic vowels. Generally, those languages south and east of the La Spezia Rimini line Romanian and Central Southern Italian maintained intertonic vowels, while those to the north and west Western Romance dropped all except the Standard Italian generally maintained intertonic vowels, but typically raised unstressed e, greater than, i. Examples Septum nom, weak. Greater than Italian setamana, Romanian septamana versus Spanish, Portuguese semana, French semen, Occitan, Catalan setmana, Piedmontese smana. Quatuordesum, 14. Greater than Italian quaterdici, Venetian catordex, Lombard, Piedmontese quatords, versus Spanish catorce, Portuguese, French catorce. Metipsissimus greater than metipsimus, medicimos, tilde, medesimos, self. Greater than Italian medesimo versus Venetian medimo, Lombard medem, Old Spanish mismo, mismo, greater than modern mismo, Galician Portuguese mismo, greater than modern mesmo, Old French medesmi, greater than later mismi, greater than mf mesmi, greater than modern meme. Bonnet tem, goodness. Greater than Italian bonita tilde bonda, Romanian bonitate, but Spanish bondad, Portuguese bondade, French bonte. Colicry, to position, arrange. Greater than Italian coracer versus Spanish colgar, to hang, Romanian culca, to lie down, French coucher, to lay sth on its side, put s, o, to bed. Communic re, to take communion, greater than Romanian cumaneca versus Portuguese comunger, Spanish comulgar, Old French comungier. Caric re, to load onto a wagon, cart. Greater than Portuguese, Catalan carregar versus Spanish, Occitan cargar to load, French charger, Lombard carga, carrega, Venetian carriger, cargar e, to load, fabricam, forge, greater than, asterisk fara, greater than Spanish fragua, Portuguese fragua, Occitan, Catalan farga, French forge disjejun re, to break a fast, greater than asterisk disjun re, greater than old French disner, to have lunch, greater than French diner, to dine, but asterisk disj nat, greater than old French desjun, he has lunch, greater than French il, dejun, he has lunch, Agit re to help, greater than Italian Ayutari, Romanian Ajuda but French Aider, Lombard Ida, Ayuda, Spanish Ayuder, Portuguese Ajuder based on stressed forms, e.g. Ayuda, Ayuda, he helps, cf. Old French Aider to help versus Ayue, he helps, Portuguese is more conservative in maintaining some intertonic vowels other than, a, e.g. asterisk offerecher to offer, greater than Portuguese afferecer versus Spanish officer, French offrier, Stephen, greater than Spanish Esteban but Old French Estiebna, French Etienne. Many cases of, a, before the stress also ultimately dropped in French, sacramentum, sacrament, greater than Old French sirement, French sermon, oath. Topic writing systems Topic The Romance languages for the most part have kept the writing system of Latin, adapting it to their evolution. One exception was Romanian before the 19th century, where, after the Roman retreat, literacy was reintroduced through the Romanian Cyrillic alphabet, a Slavic influence. A Cyrillic alphabet was also used for Romanian Moldovan in the USSR. The non-Christian populations of Spain also used the scripts of their religions Arabic and Hebrew to write Romance languages such as Ladino and Mozarabic in Aljamiado. Topic Letters Topic The Romance languages are written with the classical Latin alphabet of 23 letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V, X, Y, Z, subsequently modified and augmented in various ways. In particular, the single Latin letter V split into V consonant and U vowel, and the letter I split into I and J the Latin letter K and the new letter W, which came to be widely used in Germanic languages, are seldom used in most Romance languages, mostly for unassimilated foreign names and words. 
Indeed, in Italian prose kilometro is properly chilometro. Catalan eschews importation of foreign letters more than most languages. Thus Wikipedia is Viquipedia in Catalan but Wikipedia in Spanish. While most of the 23 basic Latin letters have maintained their phonetic value, for some of them it has diverged considerably, and the new letters added since the Middle Ages have been put to different uses in different scripts. Some letters, notably H and Q, have been variously combined in digraphs or trigraphs see below to represent phonetic phenomena that could not be recorded with the basic Latin alphabet, or to get around previously established spelling conventions. Most languages added auxiliary marks diacritics to some letters, for these and other purposes. The spelling rules of most Romance languages are fairly simple, and consistent within any language. Since the spelling systems are based on phonemic structures rather than phonetics, however, the actual pronunciation of what is represented in standard orthography can be subject to considerable regional variation, as well as to allophonic differentiation by position in the word or utterance. Among the letters representing the most conspicuous phonological variations, between Romance languages or with respect to Latin, are the following b, v, merged in Spanish and most dialects of Catalan, where both letters represent a single phoneme pronounced as either b or beta depending on position, with no differentiation between b and v c, generally a hard k, but soft fricative or affricate before e, i, or y g, generally a hard but soft fricative or affricate before e, i, or y in some languages, like Spanish, the hard G, phonemically per gram, is pronounced as a fricative, after vowels. In Romanche, the soft G is a voiced palatal plosive, or a voiced alveolopalatal affricate D. H, silent in most languages, used to form various digraphs. But represents H in Romanian, Walloon and Gascon Occitan. J, represents the fricative in most languages, or the palatal approximant J in Romanche and in several of the languages of Italy. Italian does not use this letter in native words. Q, as in Latin, its phonetic value is that of a hard C, i.e. K, and in native words it is always followed by a sometimes silent U. Romanian does not use this letter in native words. S, generally voiceless S, but voiced Z between vowels in some languages. In Spanish, Romanian, Galician and several varieties of Italian, however, it is always pronounced voiceless between vowels. If the phoneme, s, is represented by the letter s, predictable assimilations are normally not shown e.g. Italian, slitta, sled, spelled slitta but pronounced z litta, never with s. Also at the end of syllables it may represent special allophonic pronunciations. In Romanche, it also stands for a voiceless or voiced fricative or before certain consonants. W. No Romance language uses this letter in native words, with the exception of Walloon. X. Its pronunciation is rather variable, both between and within languages. In the Middle Ages, the languages of Iberia used this letter to denote the voiceless postalveolar fricative, which is still the case in modern Catalan and Portuguese. With the Renaissance the classical pronunciation case or similar consonant clusters, such as Z or k theta were frequently reintroduced in Latinisms and Hellenisms. In Venetian it represents z, and in Ligurian the voiced postalveolar fricative. Italian does not use this letter in native words. Y, this letter is not used in most languages, with the prominent exceptions of French and Spanish, where it represents j before vowels or various similar fricatives such as the palatal fricative in Spanish, and the vowel i or semivowel j elsewhere. Z, in most languages it represents the sound Z. However, in Italian it denotes the affricates DZ and TS which are two separate phonemes, but rarely contrast. Among the few examples of minimal pairs are Raza, Ray, with DDZ, Raza, Race, with TTS. Note that both are phonetically long between vowels. In Romanche the voiceless affricate TS, and in Galician and Spanish it denotes either the voiceless dental fricative theta or S. Otherwise, letters that are not combined as digraphs generally represent the same phonemes as suggested by the International Phonetic Alphabet (IPA), whose design was, in fact, greatly influenced by Romance spelling systems. Topic: <laughs> Digraphs and trigraphs. Topic. 
Since most Romance languages have more sounds than can be accommodated in the Roman Latin alphabet they all resort to the use of digraphs and trigraphs, combinations of two or three letters with a single phonemic value. The concept but not the actual combinations is derived from Classical Latin, which used, for example, th, ph, and ch when transliterating the Greek letters theta, phi, later, phi, and chi. These were once aspirated sounds in Greek before changing to corresponding fricatives, and the h represented what sounded to the Romans like an, following, t, p, and, k, respectively. Some of the digraphs used in modern scripts are C, used in Italian, Romance languages in Italy, Corsican and Romanian to represent before A, O, or U. Ch, used in Italian, Romance languages in Italy, Corsican, Romanian, Romanche and Sardinian to represent K, before E or I including Yod, J. In Occitan, Spanish, Astor Leonese and Galician, C or in Romanche before A, O or U, and in most other languages. In Catalan it is used in some old spelling conventions for K. DD, used in Sicilian and Sardinian to represent the voiced retroflex plosive in recent history more accurately transcribed as DDH. DJ, used in Walloon and Catalan for D. GI, used in Italian, Romance languages in Italy, Corsican and Romanian to represent D, before A, O, or U, and in Romanche to represent I, or D, or before A, E, O, and U, or D. GH, used in Italian, Romance languages in Italy, Corsican, Romanian, Romanche and Sardinian to represent before E or I including Yod, J, and in Galician for the voiceless pharyngeal fricative, H, not standard sound. GL, used in Romanche before consonants and I and at the end of words for GLI, used in Italian and Corsican for and Romanche for GN, used in French, some Romance languages in Italy, Corsican and Romanche for as in Champignon, in Italian to represent as in Agni or Lo Noco. GU, used before E or I to represent or in all Romance languages except Italian, Romance languages in Italy, Corsican, Romanche, and Romanian, which use GH instead. IG, used at the end of word in Catalan for as in Meg, Safarig or Enmig. IX, used between vowels or at the end of word in Catalan for as in Taisha or Calais. LH, used in Portuguese and Occitan. LL, used in Spanish, Catalan, Galician, Astor Leonese, Norman and Gernesee, originally for which has merged in some cases with J. Represents L, in French unless it follows I, I when it represents J, or in some dialects. As in Italian, it is used in Occitan for a long LL. LL, used in Catalan for a geminate consonant. NH, used in Portuguese and Occitan for used in official Galician for N, used in Piedmontese and Ligurian for between two vowels. NN, used in Leonese for in Italian for geminate NN. NY, used in Catalan for CU, represents KW, in Italian, Romance languages in Italy, and Romanche, K, in French, Astor Leonese normally before E or I, K, before E or I or KW, normally before or O in Occitan, Catalan and Portuguese, K, in Spanish always before E or I. RR, used between vowels in several languages Occitan, Catalan, Spanish to denote a trilled R, or a guttural R, instead of the flap SC, used before E or I in Italian, Romance languages in Italy as, in European Portuguese as, S, and in French, Brazilian Portuguese, Catalan and Latin American Spanish as, S, in words of certain etymology notice this would represent, theta, in standard peninsular Spanish, SCH, used in Romanche for, or, in Italian for, SK, before, E, or, I, including Yod, J. Sai, used in Italian, Romance languages in Italy, and Corsican to represent or before A, O, or U. Shish, used in Aranese Occitan for SS, used in French, Portuguese, Piedmontese, Romanche, Occitan, and Catalan for S, between vowels, in Italian, Romance languages of Italy, and Corsican for long, SS. TS, used in Catalan for TS. TG, used in Romanche for C or in Catalan is used for d, before e and i, as in metja or fetja. T 
th used in jera a for theta used in aranese for either t or tj used between vowels and before a o or u in catalan for d as in sotjar or mitio tish used in romanche for tx used at the beginning or at the end of word or between vowels in catalan for as in txec esquith or atxa tz used in catalan for dz while the digraphs ch ph rh and th were at one time used in many words of greek origin most languages have now replaced them with c q f r and t only french has kept these etymological spellings which now represent k or f and t respectively topic double consonants topic Gemination, in the languages where it occurs, is usually indicated by doubling the consonant, except when it does not contrast phonemically with the corresponding short consonant, in which case gemination is not indicated. In Jarae, long consonants are marked with an apostrophe, s. s is a long, z z, cis. s is a long, s s, and t. t is a long, t t. The phonemic contrast between geminate and single consonants is widespread in Italian, and normally indicated in the traditional orthography, fado, fado, done, versus fado, fado, fate, destiny, cad, cad, s, he, it fell, versus cade, cade, s, he, it falls. The double consonants in French orthography, however, are merely etymological. In Catalan, the gemination of L is marked by a punt volat. Flying point. LL. Topic Diacritics. Topic Romance languages also introduced various marks, diacritics, that may be attached to some letters for various purposes. In some cases, diacritics are used as an alternative to digraphs and trigraphs, namely to represent a larger number of sounds than would be possible with the basic alphabet, or to distinguish between sounds that were previously written the same. Diacritics are also used to mark word stress, to indicate exceptional pronunciation of letters in certain words, and to distinguish words with same pronunciation homophones. Depending on the language, some letter diacritic combinations may be considered distinct letters, e.g. for the purposes of lexical sorting. This is the case, for example, of Romanian S, and Spanish U. The following are the most common use of diacritics in Romance languages. Vowel quality, the system of marking close mid-vowels with an acute accent, A, and open mid-vowels with a grave accent, E, is widely used e.g. Catalan, French, Italian. Portuguese, however, uses the circumflex e for the former, and the acute a for the latter. Some minority Romance languages use an umlaut mark in the case of a, o, u to indicate fronted vowel variants, as in German. Centralized vowels are indicated variously a in Portuguese, a, i in Romanian, e in Piedmontese, etc., in French, Occitan and Romanian, these accents are used whenever necessary to distinguish the appropriate vowel quality, but in the other languages, they are used only when it is necessary to mark unpredictable stress, or in some cases to distinguish homophones. Vowel length, French uses a circumflex to indicate what had been a long vowel although nowadays this rather indicates a difference in vowel quality, if it has any effect at all on pronunciation. This same usage is found in some minority languages. Nasality, Portuguese marks nasal vowels with a tilde a when they occur before other written vowels and in some other instances. Palatalization, some historical palatalizations are indicated with the cedilla C in French, Catalan, Occitan and Portuguese. In Spanish and several other world languages influenced by it, the grapheme nu represents a palatal nasal consonant. Separate pronunciation, when a vowel and another letter that would normally be combined into a digraph with a single sound are exceptionally pronounced apart, this is often indicated with a diaresis mark on the vowel. This is particularly common in the case of gu, gw, before e or i, because plain gu in this case would be pronounced per gram. This usage occurs in Spanish, French, Catalan and Occitan, and occurred before the 2009 spelling reform in Brazilian Portuguese. French also uses the diaresis on the second of two adjacent vowels to indicate that both are pronounced separately, as in Noel, Christmas, and hair, to hate. Stress, the stressed vowel in a polysyllabic word may be indicated with an accent, when it cannot be predicted by rule. 
In Italian, Portuguese and Catalan, the choice of accent acute, grave or circumflex may depend on vowel quality. When no quality needs to be indicated, an acute accent is normally used U, but Italian and Romanche use a grave accent U. Portuguese puts a diacritic on all stressed monosyllables that end in aeo as sos, to distinguish them from unstressed function words, cha, t, mas, bad, fem, place, say, seat of government, de, give, imperative, mes, month, so, only, nos, we, cf, mas, but, say, if, oneself, de, of, nos, us. Word final stressed vowels in polysyllables are marked by the grave accent in Italian, thus universita, university, universities, virtue, virtue, virtues, resulting in occasional minimal or near minimal pairs such as parlo, I speak, does not equal parlo, s, he spoke, capi, heads, bosses, does not equal capi, s, he understood, gravita, it, s, he gravitates does not equal gravita gravity seriousness homophones words especially monosyllables that are pronounced exactly or nearly the same way and are spelled identically but have different meanings can be differentiated by a diacritic typically if one of the pair is stressed and the other isn't the stressed word gets the diacritic using the appropriate diacritic for notating stressed syllables see above Portuguese does this consistently as part of notating stress in certain monosyllables, whether or not there is an unstressed homophone see examples above. Spanish also has many pairs of identically pronounced words distinguished by an acute accent on the stressed word, c, si, if, versus c, si, yes, mas, but, versus mas, more, me, my, versus me, me, say, oneself, versus say, I know. Te. You. Object. Versus te. T. K. Kien. Quando. Como. That. Who. When. How. Versus K. Kien. Quando. Como. What. Who. When. How. Etc. A similar strategy is common for monosyllables in writing Italian, but not necessarily determined by stress. Stressed da. It. S. He gives. Versus unstressed da. By. From. But also te. T and te, you, both capable of bearing phrasal stress. Catalan has some pairs where both words are stressed, and one is distinguished by a vowel quality diacritic, e.g. os, bone, versus os, bear. When no vowel quality needs distinguishing, French and Catalan use a grave accent, French o, or, versus o, where, French la, the, versus, la, there, Catalan ma, my, Versus ma. Hand. Topic. Upper and lower case. Topic. Most languages are written with a mixture of two distinct but phonetically identical variants or cases of the alphabet, majuscule, upper case, or capital letters, derived from Roman stone carved letter shapes, and minuscule, lower case. Derived from Carolingian writing and medieval quill pen handwriting which were later adapted by printers in the 15th and 16th centuries. In particular, all Romance languages capitalize use uppercase for the first letter of the following words, the first word of each complete sentence, most words in names of people, places, and organizations, and most words in titles of books. The Romance languages do not follow the German practice of capitalizing all nouns including common ones. Unlike English, the names of months, days of the weeks, and derivatives of proper nouns are usually not capitalized, thus, in Italian one capitalizes Francia, France, and Francesco, Francis, but not Francesi, French, or Francescano, Franciscan. However, each language has some exceptions to this general rule. Topic. Degrees of lexical similarity between the Romance languages Topic. Topic. Vocabulary comparison Topic. 
The tables below provide a vocabulary comparison that illustrates a number of examples of sound shifts that have occurred between Latin and Romance languages, along with a selection of minority languages. Words are given in their conventional spellings. In addition, for French the actual pronunciation is given, due to the dramatic differences between spelling and pronunciation, French spelling approximately reflects the pronunciation of Old French, c. 1200 AD. Topic. See also Topic. Italo Celtic, Romance peoples, Legacy of the Roman Empire, Southern Romance, African Romance, British Latin, Moselle Romance, Pannonian Romance, Romance speaking Africa, Romance speaking Europe, Romance speaking world Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Citations Topic. Topic. Sources Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Michael de Vaan, Etymological Dictionary of Latin and the Other Italic Languages, Brill, 2008, 826 pp. Part available freely online. Lexicon der Romanistischen Linguistik, LRL, ed. Holtus, Metzelten, Schmidt. Michael Metzelton, Las Lenguas Romanicas a Stander. Historia de su formación y de su uso, Oviedo, 2004 Orbis Latinus, Site on Romance Languages Hugh Wilkinson's Papers on Romance Languages Spanish is a Romance language, but what does that have to do with the type of romance between lovers? Dictionary. Com Comparative Grammar of the Romance Languages Comparison of the computer terms in Romance languages <laughs>